both at this fantastic Mobile World Congress 2023. So ST Microelectronics is all over the mobile world. Yeah, we are a semiconductor company, but we propose you many application and use cases. You can have a look at our demos and bots. They are brilliant and fantastic, introducing many novelties uh, this year, active in various segments and uh, parts. For an example, you have also the novelties about USB, USB communication, the 360 degrees contactless USB. Please welcome. Hi. Hello. So what are you showing here? So we are showing 360 degree rotation contactless USB. Uh, so if you can come close to the microphone when I feel like this, what are these little devices here? Yeah, just one second. Switch to the main. So, so what we are having here is the ST60 H3. Uh, this is an RF transceiver operating at 60 gigahertz. It uh, creates a point-to-point -point link for uh, USB 2 connection. Point-to-point? -point. Yeah, it's point-to-point. So point. using kind of like host and slave at the same time? Yeah, something? kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And uh, so up to 480 megabit per second. Point-to-point -point connection, low power, like in the range of 100 milliwatt. Uh, here is a cool application. So here we have a USB 2 camera, which is connected to a one ST60 A3, one ST60 A3, and the uh, next ST60 A3 is located on the other side. So this is a standard PC with no USB driver uh, update whatsoever. And this one is connected here. It recognizes immediately the camera. And now I can rotate. Oops, sorry. We can we can rotate, and we can see that the pitch, that the video is transmitted. You know, and the latency is very is very low. It's a cable-like behavior, basically. Cable-like behavior. Yeah. Uh, so this is useful for many different things. Yeah, this is useful for many applications for some testing where you don't need to plug and unplug a USB connector, for example. It's also very useful for wearables, where now there are more and more wearables having a wireless charging, as my colleagues are demonstrating here. Also, they want people want to add data wireless connectivity to it. And this is a great product for this. Quite affordable USB connectivity, 400 megabit per second, low power. And what's happening there? So here, we are demonstrating a secure link. So typically, the PC will be uploading a secure firmware. So we can flash application B. And uh, data will be prepared. And the encrypted application is uploaded from the PC to the target through this link here. And you can see there is wireless connectivity here happening. Then the encrypted application is downloaded on the target. It is, uh, it is transferred, it is decrypted, and then a secure link is established. Nice. So you can configure in a secure manner your target. Uh, are you planning to do uh, five gigabit or even a higher USB yeah, spec? Yeah, we do. That's USB 2 is ST60 A3. Gigabit per second is ST60 A2, which we are typically using for some contactless Ethernet applications. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's have a look. Let's have a look and continue with the IoT connectivity. I will bring you, you with me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here you can find the latest technologies about cellular IoT and GNSS. We have just launched the news byte last Thursday about the ST87M01 coming with the reliable and robust NVIoT connectivity and B2 release 15 of the 3GPP combined with the GNSS and localization opportunity of the GNSS integrated inside the module with the option of the ST Secure Element and also the SIM embedded, offering a very robust, compact and low power, um, low power features. 
Uh, it addresses several IoT application, widespread IoT ranging from the smart cities with the smart lighting application to the smart metering domain, especially water meter and gas meter, battery power operated devices, but also heat meter and electric meter, ranging to the smart industry domain with predicting maintenance and other use cases and scenarios, and lending benefiting from the GNSS localization to the asset tracking solution and option. This solution can address various application options. It can come in the very simple flavor with the module itself, combined with sensor and actuators for very simple IoT application. And adding an external MCU, it can also address this medium to high complexity IoT scenario. Very, very new branded uh, devices. What is the GNSS? Yeah, the GNSS is a global navigation satellite system, so it can offer you, through the satellite data retrieval, the precise location with high accuracy and low power features because it is integrated inside the SOC. Is it an alternative to GPS? No, it is part of the GPS. It is a more combined and optimized solution because it adopts both Galileo and the GPS constellation to have a very accurate and precise localization. Galileo is the European one? Galileo is the European one and GPS is the US one, so it is a, a Western-based solution. Nice. Uh, and the NB-IoT is a new trend, it just works. Is that using cellular? Yeah, the NB-IoT is a very robust and uh, uh, secure uh, connection because it is based on the mobile network operator infrastructure. So it is uh, part of the 5G uh, family, the very new LTE family, very optimized in uh, power consumption feature. Yeah. Cool. And uh, we, we see here those little uh, parts. Is it in here? Yeah. Th this is the evaluation board, as you can see. Very simple and very effective evaluation board with Arduino pin connectors for developers. It is fully programmable and the engineers can like it very much and can use it a lot. And here on the, on the screen you show all the different connectors. Yeah, yeah you, you can see the constituting part of the evaluation board. The module itself is in the center. Then you have the SMA connectors for antenna connectivity. Then you have the plastic holder for the SIM. Then you have the USB you can connect, uh, both powering and sending data to the UART connection to the module itself. And then you have the Arduino connection for the developers and software and firmware guys having the hands on this device. What kind of ARM uh, core? Yeah, this is an interesting platform because it comes with three separate cores. So you have the Cortex M4, the, and the DSP part, and then you have the security part with the RIS-5. So it is very, it is an IoT platform itself. So you're combining tri-cluster, you have two ARM and one RISC 5 Exactly, indeed. It is very interesting because uh, uh, you have a possibility to embed also simple customer application and so you can customize the device and uh, well address different use cases. Very nice. Is it ready for mass production? Yeah, it will land in mass production in Q3 this year, so uh, just be patient a, a little bit more and you will have the solution in your end. It, this could be one of the most popular RISC-V chips in the world. Yeah, this is uh, maybe the primary solution inside this domain to adopt this kind of, uh, of idea and novelty. So we are very proud of this uh, insertion of the, in the product auction. Why did you need to use the RISC-V for the secure part? Yeah, it is an ancient feature for the security parts that nowadays also for geopolitical reasons and interest in the security, also for the Cyber Security Act of the European Union to be landed. It will be an IoT platform with security, additional security features landing in the European, US and worldwide application scenarios. So this could potentially be the new standard for uh, countrywide IO IoT. Exactly, indeed. Uh, we, are, we are part of several groups also for the standardization in security, so we are driving the working group about this feature, and this will be the enabler, one of the first products to, to, to disclose this feature. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. Can we check some of your colleagues yeah, around sure. here? Yeah, let's move around.
We will have another very hot topic like uh, uh, connected artificial intelligence. Uh, I, I will uh, introduce you to my colleague about the connected AGI. Please. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. So what are you showing here? So actually here we are showing uh, an example of the application that we can reach by embedding AI machine learning on the edge. So actually we, we are running... Can you come close to the microphone? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So actually we are running... Actually we are running AI on the edge in order to um, reach like, best um, performances in a lot of applications to, to create a uh, new feature. For example, here we are showing how to create predictive maintenance solution by monitoring the vibration of a pump and allowing the user to take his solution, to put it on a, another system and to learn again the behavior of the equipment in order to fine tune the model. That's what we call on device learning. So to do so, we have a tool called Nano AGI Studio that you can see on your, on your, on your right. This tool allows the user to create from scratch in a matter of minutes uh, AI algorithm for automated detection, classification, or regression, and uh, to, to cover every kind of use cases. We are sensor agnostic and only takes few steps to create an optimized uh, machine learning model. So you can see that the studio is doing most of the job to ease developer life, and we are reaching pretty huge performance, almost 100% accuracy, with a really low footprint. footprint. So these solutions are really optimized for SM32 microcontrollers and allows to create limited kind of uh, use cases. We are monitoring here vibration, but we can work with temperature, current, pressure, uh, audio, images, so the number of use cases is limited for that. Uh, this Nano Edge AI Studio, what is that about? Um, this is the tool that uh, will speed up the development process for AI solution. So it's optimized for microcontroller, for STM32 microcontroller, and allow every developer to create machine learning solution. Uh, I've got a comment here. Please ask uh, how to embed the application along with the OS. Is there any manual to set up? So actually, um, the embedding process is quite easy because the studio is generating a .h and a .a, so these uh, files can be implemented to the project, and it's just like calling a function. So the AI is here allowing, it's a technique to reach best performances, to reach new features, to develop new features. So you can just create a main new project and call the function as you used to do. What are the skills required to program for this? Actually, uh, if you want to use Nano AGI Studio, you don't have to, to, to get advanced skill on AI or um, data science because uh, the, tool, the tool does the job for you. If you come and watch, Actually, the tool will benchmark uh, thousands of combinations of machine learning model, uh, parameter, and, and, and um, preprocessing algorithm. So, it will define the best combination for your application. Here we can see for, for this demo that we are using three linear preprocessing bricks and one uh, mach classical machine learning model. So, the studio will tell you which um, model and which preprocessing you should use, but you, you have the, the, the right to change if you, if you want. So this is giving you all the tool, in the, 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 yeah, the, all, all what that you need to develop your application. So you don't have to be to have any skills just to embed the library in your controllers. This is exciting. This providing many new potential uh, uh, implementations. Exactly. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah, right. ST is very active also in the imaging part, so let's have a look at these three other options. Uh, we have the current cabin imaging demo pod, nice to introduce my colleague. Hello. Hello. Lutz Estermann, I'm technical marketing for our imaging automotive products. Uh, are you interested in automotive? Yeah, what do we, what do we see here? Uh, what is this This is our device? EVK uh, together with the illumination, Illuminator here. So this application is for in-cabin monitoring 
and uh, uh, user experience features. This is a new innovative 5 megapixel sensor, which is unique in the world because it, it is uh, capable of doing rolling shutter and global shutter mode at the same time. Or let's say like frame to frame, you can switch between HDR, RGB pictures, and uh, NIR here with the illumination. You see the NIR, the near infrared, uh, 940 nanometers illumination. So that's 15 frames per second of each, or how does it uh, do it? 15 frames. It is just a demo. The sensor can do up to um, uh, uh, 60 FPS uh, so in full resolution. 30 each, for example, in full resolution. Yes. How but does it switch? Uh, it switched. Uh, uh, there is a firmware inside. There is a little controller in the sensor, which is switching then frame to frame. So we, we, you, you can uh, pre-configure the um, the sensor yeah. in four different configurations, and then you can set a sequence, and then and switch between the sequence uh, between the contexts in the sequence, and you, you switch frame to frame. So you make one picture of in this mode and one picture in that mode. And then you stream the data out for to an ECU, and then they can do some, some kind of equation like this. When you go here on this side, you can see that, that it recognizes my face, where I'm looking. If my eyes are open, and this is a safety application, you know, like the European Commission, there is this NCAP regulation that every car in 2025 has to have. Um, no, no, it's only working here on my side because it is configured, this is the driver side. So from 2025, every new car in Europe has to have a driver monitoring system. Wow, um, that's soon. That's soon, yes, yes. So we are very busy with the OEMs and with the tier ones to implement that in cars. Uh, we, are, we are on a good way to, to get the market lead also here with our, with our product. So we have two products. One is only focusing on this application with uh, with uh, near infrared, and then um, this product is a wide field of view for the whole in cabin, and then you can have all applications in the human and in the machine vision side. It's uh, I like watching these uh, YouTube videos with the Uber drivers. They yeah. film themselves and they show what's happened, weird things happen. But this is like filming inside the car. Yes. In full color here. Yes, and HDR. Same time doing yes. The security. Exactly. So this is machine vision. Normally you don't see that. The, the machine is seeing that and then gives you information or sends him information. Um, maybe makes beep, 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 beep. If or maybe it beeps, yes. So, but it, so for the DMS, it's only like the, the drowsiness and the inattention uh, on the driver. So you if can, you when, when you have like, phone. exactly, when you, when you, there's another mode of this demo, but it's not enabled right now. So when you, when you uh, have the handy, uh, the mobile in your, in your hand, it recognizes and then it would also like beep and say, please don't call during driving. Right? Well, don't play video games on the dashboard. <laughs> during driving in your Tesla. Yes, yes exactly. Um, no, here, uh, this is also the new trend in the automotive, you know, like the software-defined vehicle. Um, you bring more features, what you know from the smartphones, into the car. And uh, this is why you need human vision and uh, a nice uh, nice HDR video content also to the to the to the people in the car or to stream that making zoom calls or teams during the during the driving I need this function where if I make a joke that's not very good with my my guests you should just uh, park the car to the side of the road and say stop uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's 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 the beauty of the software defined car you can implement everything what you want <laughs> because uh, the big problem is distraction it's yeah. really a lot of accidents. Yes, exactly. So this is why, why here, for example, this is the DMS application again. So it knows where I'm looking. It, 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 it makes the eye tracking. And then you can say, ah, now, now I'm looking on the side uh, window. Now I'm looking on the, on the, um, on the video, which is on, in, the, in the center uh, uh, display. Uh, and now I'm focusing on the street. So... With this, Changing sen with, with, with this sensor, uh, we are really uh, cutting edge, and um, we can also do some processing on the sensor itself to to make out of this. This is actually like a RGB NIR 4x4 color filter array, which is not normal for for normal cameras. Normally, you have only RGB, and the standard ISPs are not able to to uh, deal with this. So you need to process this or pre-process this. 
and uh, that the, the standard ISP is uh, capable to, to use it. What we can do here with this sensor, we can do this pre-processing on the sensor, and we're the only ones in the world which, which are capable of doing, doing this. Nice. Yes. All right. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Cool. Let's have a look. Let's have a look also to the other solution, like smart cameras and photonic sensor. Hi. Hi. So yes, here it's a global shooter's camera. Uh, so we have seen my colleague with the um, with, uh, in-cabin uh, solution. Here it's a consumer industrial solution. Um, so we have a lot of type of application possible. Uh, like the first one, it's a face recognition. So for that, we work with Trinomics. The mic. Oh, OK. Uh, we worked with Trinamics uh, for, for in the partnership with Trinamics um, for the face recognition. So we provide the camera, they, uh, they provide the algorithm and the software solution. So we show today we are able to have a great level of securities uh, for mobile payment because we are a FIDO security certification for that. Um, and um, and we show uh, we are able to go under the screen with this camera. We go we can go under the screen. That's uh, a main point for us to, to do that because we are a great sen sen sensitivity with our uh, cam uh, sensor camera in higher uh, wavelengths. And so this is kind of like a face unlock, face authentication, face authentication for payments. For payments, for screen, for, for all you want. Yeah, for smartphone unlock and so on. Some of these phones are using a, kind of like LiDAR or something like that that recognizes the shape of your face and everything. Is that uh, required sometimes to have extra level of... Uh, for LiDAR? You mean? So you cannot unlock it with a photo of the person. No, no, no. With the with our camera and the, the algorithm from Trinamics, uh, we are able to go the difference between a mask, so a real real person, a mask, and a real person because they, they see the skin texture, uh, sorry, skin texture and uh, and movement and skin movement. So we we can know that is a real person or not this real person. So. That's the main point. We does have it take a second, or how long does it take to uh, to check that the person is moving and everything? One or two seconds. Not, 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 not more. Not more. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is this to be implemented inside the phones or yeah. inside what? It's for it to be implemented inside the phone and that now available because we can go under the screen. So we don't we anymore have the a notch or a, a smaller point for the camera. We can go under the, the screen for this uh, for this camera. Uh, what's the difference in quality for a selfie camera that's behind the screen compared to a little dot? Oh, uh, yeah, the, the, the main difference is we need uh, great sensitivities because uh, to go through the, the, uh, the LED or the screen, we, need, we don't have uh, a lot of transmittance. So we need to have a great sensitivity in higher on invisible, and we have that. Cool. Awesome. So this is available now, yeah. but not yet in the phone, or already in the phone? Not yet in the phone, but we in the Trinami booth, if you have the time to go, um, uh, we have a, there are a demonstration with the same camera under the screen. Under the screen there. We can, we can see that, we can use it, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, functional things, that available. Nice. In demonstration. And it says a number of pixels, megapixels, and stuff it's like that. It's uh, one of uh, it's 1.5 megapixel uh, solution. Yeah, in global shutters. All right. So that will go behind the display. Yeah. And then you can have a different selfie lens also. You yeah. can have one for selfie photos, another one just for authentication. Yeah. Uh, for for, for authentication, we need to have uh, an higher higher sources. For sure, uh, it's, uh, because we need to have uh, real abilities. So we need to we need to go when you are dark scene. We need to uh, have a face uh, face identification too. So we need uh, uh, infrared uh, infrared sources. That's the main point. So yes, uh, today uh, the main solution use it. Use, uh, today we have the, the, the we have that on the phone. We we have uh, uh, IR sources.
uh, on the on the phone. Yeah, it's pretty nice that you can use your phone to pay contactless, and you don't need to put a pin code or yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, it Just knows it's you. Yeah, it knows you too. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's exactly the main point. It's the main point. Yeah. Nice. All right. And uh, there's a uh, encryption, and maybe Opti or something. You use encryption and the. On the chip that goes behind that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We can do. We can go to this type of application. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. And uh, then we continue the tour. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We can go back to the USB because we do have other technologies and interest on the USB topics. Yeah. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Uh, please introduce yourself. Yes, uh, my name is Christian Beya. I'm a product marketing manager uh, for uh, um, power supply and uh, um, USB PD products. So nice. Uh, this uh, one. So, so what do we see here? Uh, we see here uh, 140 watt charger, which is very compact one. Uh, the first one in the world to be to get the, the USB PD 3.1 EPR certification for 28 volt uh, 5 amp outputs. This is really compact and lightweight. Um, so as you use the it is gallium nitride. Correct. It uses gallium nitride uh, um, transistor of latest generation and digital control. So. Uh, the, the combination of digital control and gallium nitride transistor allows the dimension to, to be very small and the magnetic components to, to be uh, very tiny and lightweight because uh, the system operates at high frequency, 300 kilohertz. As you can see, the efficiency of the system is above 94% and this is 2% higher than average chargers. Also, the dimensions are uh, three times smaller than uh, um, a solution of the, of the same kind, but using a standard transistor. What do we see here on the table, those next slim? Those are, those are the transformers done sure by, right? yes. Like? Yeah. And uh, those are done by our partner, LG Inotech, who helped, uh, helped out uh, to create this uh, a prototype here which is in four-factor uh, solution uh, for USB PD charger. And uh, what's here? The EV loan, it so, shows what's inside a charger. That's correct. Inside the charger, this is the circuitry showing the ST1HP digital controller and the master gun gallium nitride half bridge power stage. Those are uh, the two main ingredients for this solution which is an active clamp of uh, flyback uh, um, converter and a PFC controller in front. So the, the total solution is made using ST components and LG Inotec magnetics uh, together with the Wurt electronic magnetics. So it's a total solution and uh, this is what inside this charger here. Nice, it's a lot of power, 140 watts. Yes, it's so. It's kind of amazing that yeah. uh, chargers can be so compact. Correct. And reliable, so. safe. That's correct. In yeah. fact, we, we got all the certification about compliance with USB standard, and it's also safe, as you said. Um, this 140 watt is enough to charge a laptop, a smartphone with a very fast charge. You can charge a, a smartphone in less than 20 minutes and uh, a laptop in less than 30 minutes. And you can also use it to charge uh, um, a, an e-bike, for example, or a power tool like a drill, or even a vacuum cleaner, a portable vacuum cleaner. So it's a really universal charger. And uh, it said the world's first 600 volt. What, is that what it said on the screen up there? It's uh, uh, actually, uh, it's the, the world's first to, to get uh, uh, the USB PD 3.1 certification, and we were uh, also the world first to introduce the master gun solution, which is a 600 volt, 600 volt uh, uh, half bridge power stage using gallium nitride transistor of second generation. And this technology can be made available to every charger manufacturer in the world. That's correct. Right now? 
Dexgorec, our technology is available for any manufacturer uh, to, uh, to use uh, our technology, to take advantage of uh, our technology and create products. And if you replace one billion chargers, you'll mm -hmm. save 20 one. minutes, uh, you'll yeah. do a lot of yeah. savings. Yes, yes. So, uh, if we could replace uh, our charger, uh, any charger with our solution, we can save a uh, uh, million tons of uh, raw materials and energy, uh, energy saving uh, for uh, 3.5 billion uh, CO2, tons of CO2. So it's an amazing amount of saving. So actually it would be a good idea, even though it sounds like a lot of uh, waste to change all the chargers in the world, but in terms of how much power you will save and efficiency, yeah. it's worth it. Correct. For the environment. That's correct. That's correct. And in fact, uh, the uh, USB-C is the uh, connector which is uh, uh, chosen by the EU to be uh, the one which replaces all the all the USB connectors. So nowadays, USB-C is the universal connector for all all the devices. And now the new USB standards are trying to make it clear how much bandwidth and how much uh, what uh, throughput power does, so it will be more clear what cable is supported, what charger is supported, that's and that's also very good, no? That, that's correct, that's correct. Uh, on the, on the uh, cable you have the ability to know how much po uh, power you can, you can deliver, and uh, so uh, with 140 watt you can really charge a, a large variety of products. I like my power bank, it's very interesting because you connect and it tells you how long it's left, how many hours, how many minutes, or maybe it will tell you how long it will finish charge. All this kind of information could also be in displays and stuff. But that's something else, right? Yeah, right. that's, that's really um, useful and convenient for the end user. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Yeah. We can end up our tour with the very last one pod in front of the, of the desk. Please, let me introduce you the self-learning IE sensor pod that we are presenting with the ISPU product. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. What do you show here? So here we are showing our new IMU, uh, which is an accelerometer and a gyroscope. And inside the same package, we also integrated a risk core, where in this demo we are running unsupervised learning for fitness tracking. So we are able to learn some movements and then detect them. So, um, <laughs> what am I seeing here on the table? So on the table you can see the sensor, which is the small part right here. Then you can see the app where we can see what kind of, uh, what kind of exercise you are performing and how many repetition counts you have. And also for the sensor, there we have an evaluation tool with the, with the wristband. And you say risk? What CPU is in there? It's completely one made by ST. ST? Yeah, so ST it's an ARM CPU? No, it's a completely, the architecture is made by ST. It's not an ARM. All right. And uh, so this is useful for, for what, what does it do? Self-learning. Yeah, so as I say, for fitness tracking, for example, but also you can run any other algorithms you like. We provide a tool chain for it, so you can program it in C language. You can run your custom C processing uh, algorithms, any of you like. Cool, all right, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, yeah. hey. All right, thank you so much for passing by at ST, and uh, we always welcome you for uh, new developments and new excitement and things uh, uh, to make life augmented, uh, as our motto is saying. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thanks for the thank tour. You. Yeah. And it's been a good show, right? A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people passing by. We are uh, we are um, uh, very enthusiastic of the people passing by. A lot of people, uh, a lot of interaction, customer, new possibilities, new technologies. Uh, it has been a great 2023 MWC show. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Can I? Hey, what's up? Yeah. Now that all the tools have a special uh, smart 
glasses. You had them like in 2012. Do you want to be in my video? No. <laughs> 2012, yeah, where, where I was doing the video with the... I actually met um, Sergey Brin at, at, uh, at, at CES in 2012. I was using these... Um, uh, yeah, even before that, uh, these guys... And it was at the Verizon booth in uh, CES. And then uh, Google didn't put the money where, you know, they were doing big presentations. It was so cool when they jumped off the airplane. But they never put like a few million to put them in the stores. What, what do you do? Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> cool. It's, see this thing? It's like live stream. Oh, even now. It's live. Even now. Yeah. But I also record in 4K, so I'll publish the 4K later. Of your... Yeah, I'll send you the link. Ah, let me give you my card. People ask yeah. you to show the four points for that road. Come on, never mind. Yeah. Show the real points. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, uh, Poco and Poco is good, and Poco means a little bit, right? We are little doing a little small effort. So you got small the effort. Yeah, that's the value. Poco. Thank yeah. You. This is my. I should have your. This is my. My CEO there. Yeah. Right. Cool. Where do you live? The same country? Yeah. Also Milan. Same team. <laughs> Inter and AC Milan? Okay. Ah, I live in Milan. Inter, yeah, my, me too. Yeah, Inter is a serious one. Okay. Uh, because I like the colors. I'm thinking it's uh, because it has all the coolest players and uh, when I was young. You know, it's Rekoba, all these guys. Oh, yeah. 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 Cool. Thanks so much. We didn't um, skip some. We should have. It's okay. We did the perfect tour. We, we got everything. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Have fun. Nice to see you. All right. Um, yeah. So let me resume here. Uh, thanks for watching this interview. Uh, going to the next one. They're going over there. I'm just going to check next door to Bullet if they're available. Uh, let me just uh, finish here one second. Hey. Hey. Hey, excuse me. Yeah, so it was great. So the video is live. And then I will send the video later. It's going to be published tonight. Okay. And did you all, did you do all of them? Uh, I got most of them. I, I think he, he chose the okay. two or three he didn't do. Okay. But he said that's it. We got most. Yeah, it was cool. I wanted to do all, but I think two or three is missing. But yeah. it's okay. okay. And where can I see it? Yeah. So it's already live. Oh, which channel? Yeah, I'll give you there. there. Yeah. It's live now. Yeah. Um, but I will publish tonight in 4K, okay. a different version, the high quality. Okay, thank you so much. You so much. Okay, see you, bye-bye. Are you going to Embedded? No, why not? You're not, okay. Okay, merci beaucoup, salut, see you, bye-bye. All right. There, we got ST. Highlights from by ST. I wanted to check here with Bullet, just next door. Hi. Is it possible to do video with you? About your satellite technology you heard about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty good. It's the best time. Yeah? Can you give us one minute? Yeah. Where are you from? Let me give you my card. So I have this YouTube channel and it's live streaming, and uh, but I also publish in 4K later. Okay, cool. Can nice. Yeah. All right, I heard that uh, Bullet is doing something interesting. And please, in the chat, uh, Poco, you want to see Poco? Okay. It would be good to film some Poco. Uh, it's the last day of the show, so I need to uh, run around, get film as many as possible. Yeah. Yeah. The, the technology you talk about. The technology. Yeah. Okay. Do you ask a question? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Cool. 
Yeah, it's 4Y something, Y4N, something like that. I need to check where it is. You have the, I think, I think Realme is not, not available anymore. If you took, type Japan, I think, uh, maybe this. Eight point one. Yeah, I need to film there yeah. for a second. Hi. Hey, how are you? So we can do video? Yeah. Do you have a product in your pocket or just this one? Yeah. You can talk about. I don't know if I'm allowed to use. Okay. Yes. Cool. <laughs> All right. Let me start like this. Hi. So oh, yeah. please introduce yourself. I'm Jonathan Natras. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Bullet. And what's the big announcement here at the show? So we're announcing three things. We've got a combination of phones and we've also done an innovative new Bluetooth accessory. Um, the phones are really excellent ruggedized 5G smartphones with the addition of a satellite chip inside them. So can you show without the... Yeah, the mis yeah there. So, so with a satellite chip? Yeah. So if you find yourself in a situation where you've lost coverage uh, from your cellular network, you're able to go into an app, our app called Bullet Satellite Messenger. And what we will be able to do is connect you then through the satellite system so you can send anybody a two-way message. Uh, send and, and receive. what satellite system is it using? So we use a combination of satellites. We're using Inmarsat and also Echostar satellites. So here in Europe, we've got Echostar coverage at the moment. And it works everywhere, really? It'll work outside. You know, where you've got clear line of sight to the sky, it'll work outside. And that's, a, that's an amazing upgrade for humans. To be safe uh, everywhere they go? Absolutely. We've, uh, as well as sending a two way message, you can send your location and you can also, um, if you find yourself in an emergency, we have a manned emergency response centre. They'll take you through some triage questions and they'll decide which is the appropriate response for you. You could have broken down in your truck or you could just need a, an ambulance, you know. The, what does this uh, one do? The really exciting accessory we've got here. This includes a satellite chip inside this, but it's Bluetooth to any phone. So Android or iOS, and then you use the same, app, same message for sending applications. You it's your speci special message app? It's, you use our messaging, the same messaging app on this, on an iPhone, on a Samsung, on any other phone, and then you're able to have satellite connectivity wherever you go. It's so just SMS? Just, it's like SMS, 140 characters. You can send your location as part of that. But so you can connect with any phone number SMS you can, yeah. as a receiver? We will send, you will receive it as an SMS, as a message from Bullet Satellite Messenger. And you'll also have a link in that SMS to download the app, because it's an over-the-top app service. You can choose to uh, receive that, you know, read the message. If you want to reply, download the app really simple process to connect to it and then off you go because this app and the protocol and everything is some kind of optimized for checking all the packets are going correctly to the satellites and received right. correctly and everything it's the brand new 3gpp release 17 standard it's the latest iteration of this it's the first in the of its kind in the world that uses this standard uh, and this has allowed us to be able to bring the technology to market quicker is it possible that uh, this will become the standard for every SMS messaging app in the oh, future? We'll that see. I don't know. We'll see. But we're certainly interested in the future for being able to go beyond 
adding messages and could you perhaps get to more data services and voice even. So we're keeping a very close eye on the industry for that. And your rugged phones are weatherproof, oh, dustproof, You can proof, drop these drop from 1.8 meters onto concrete or steel. You can put it into uh, five meters of uh, five meters of water. You can hit it with a high press high pressure hose. And um, has the two quality cameras, 50 megapixel uh, camera array on the back. Uh, fingerprint three unlock. cameras, fingerprint unlock, uh, totally sealed water uh, waterproof connectors. Type C, really good. Type C connector, it's Type C on the accessory as well, so it's common charging for both. And big battery, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 6.6 .6 inch display. Um, really and good solid price. Oh, it's a really good price, yeah. So around 599 retail for that, including this. And the satellite service starts at 4.99 a month. Uh, that's 30 messages, and obviously on the phone you get SOS for free for the first 12 months. Do you work with MediaTek? Oh, we work really closely with MediaTek. We've uh, been working with them for the last two years to be able to do this. So, so it's a special implementation on their new chipset. It is yeah, directly on the SOC. It is uh, no, it's a standalone chip. So it's a separate chip that works. It's also a MediaTek Dimensity 930 cellular chip inside it. So that's where we get 5G coverage from. And it's a new narrowband IoT chipset from MediaTek we've integrated. But as you can see, you haven't really had to pay a size penalty for doing that. Uh, we've also integrated L and S band antennas on the back of the phone. Is there a scratch resistant display it is you're not going to get it fully scratched up it's corning gorilla glass victus which is the toughest glass available and obviously people can add a screen protector if they wish to this we recess the display um, to protect it as well even more because if you drop it down uh, that recess will protect it you could drive onto it and it'll be fine you could it's Maybe. really I'm solid joking. yeah well the way i drive you could probably <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all right and uh, this is available worldwide so this, will, uh, this is shipping now, the cat phone version. The satellite service will be turned on by the end of March in Europe. And we're gonna add North America, Latin America, Australia, New Zealand, Africa, uh, throughout the year as we bring this uh, through. We've got a Motorola version of this, which is for North America and Latin America. And obviously the puck is branded Motorola. So if one's wife or children wants to climb the mountains, yep. this is a requirement. Send, send them with one of these or one of these. This is a great thing for the family because you could share this between the family as well. So How much is that? This is $99 and the, the pricing is the same, $4.99 per month. Um, so for $149, you can have 12, year, you know, 12 month subscription and the device. Done. Only four dollar yeah. ninety nine per nine, month. Four dollar ninety nine a month. Yeah. How, is there a limit? How many messages you can? That's for thirty messages. And if you run out of your messages, you can easily top up and just tide you through to the next month. So. And uh, there's a lot of people that like to go on their boats. Yep. This is working on the boats all so over the seas. We don't have entire ocean coverage, but for example, we cover like more than two thirds of the Mediterranean, we cover all the North Sea. We, we don't stop exactly at the end of the land, we'll give you a very broad coverage. The Atlantic? Yeah, uh, not all the way across the Atlantic, but we'll give you very good coverage, really for people with leisure boats, fishing, you know, small fishing boats, things like that. Around Hawaii? Around Hawaii, yes. As Maybe? Well. Yeah, well, I mean, we could absolutely look for that. So, yeah. Uh, so, yep. And uh, some other satellites, constellations like the Starlink, Yep. They're talking about eventually adding something, yep. but right now there's nothing. No, no. Uh, it'll be like in their version two, only if the some... Starship works, which right. hopefully will work. Right. But that'll be just normal cellular uh, yeah. signals. So there's a very interesting evolution as we look towards release 18 for 3GPP standards for 5G uh, NR over non-terrestrial networks. Um, there is obviously proprietary choices of people coming in and choosing to do a proprietary method. We like the standards-based approach, and with the support from MediaTek, uh, we're absolutely um, convinced that the standards-based approach will be the right one. And this is not being done by Qualcomm. It's not no, being it done by not. the Apple guys. 
No, no. Uh, Apple isn't. is talking about some satellite stuff or not? Oh, no, a- Apple have their own proprietary system um, that I believe they're offering SOS. They don't offer two-way messaging capability. Um, so you'd have to really talk to the Apple guys to ask their opinion on something. So I'm sure cool. they're interested in this, though. And if somehow you don't have a clear sky, if there's clouds or something, oh, yeah. does the message come later? It's, it's weather, it's persistent through any weather, right? So the spectrum we're using doesn't suffer from rain fade or anything like that. So it's the same spectrum that is used by the Global Maritime Distress Service. So rain, cloud, that won't affect... Uh, but if you went into a cave oh, yeah. uh, during the... Yeah. Then it'll, the message will come as soon as you, as soon as you come out of the as cave later. As soon as you come out of the cave, yeah. yeah. So if you're in a cave, we've got a really bright flashlight or torch, so you can use that, but you can't use the satellite messaging service. So. Cool, thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, now, can I give you my card? Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. The video is, was live, oh, right. but I'll okay. publish it in 4K tonight. All right. And if you want, you can send me like description that you think is good. Yeah, yeah. If you want, I can use all your text to describe the video on YouTube, all right. with all the links that are relevant yeah, and everything. Really cool. Thanks a lot. I'm using only a little 4, 4G nice. SIM card in there. Maybe the next version will do 5G. I was trying to do my 5G router on it, but I should have set it up with a... Yeah, but but I, I was trying to get higher than 3 megabit. Oh, right. The first couple okay, days so. I was getting drop frames in here. There was too many people. But I got down to 3 megabit and it's okay. Yeah, let me give you. Yeah. Did you get also? Yeah. One for you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot. Super. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Did I get a contact from you? Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Uh, where sh- where we go? This is uh, eight. Let's go over here. So you want me to film the ink stuff? Do you have somebody at the booth that can do a video with? That would be good? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, so, okay. Victor is the best one. You should do that. Yeah. All right. So this is for... Let me give you my card. Yeah, let's scan. Yeah. I, I scan. You got the badge, so we can scan. Nice. This is uh, where the video goes. Oh, Denmark. Or Switzerland, actually. You should do it. Yeah. So Swedish. 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 Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, there you go. But I'm Swedish. Too. He's like a uh, dance guy. Can't. That's the different. But. Ah, for me, Swedish is also. It's too much. Uh, it's too nice. Yes. Yeah. Well, then you can do it. There no, you go. We can't do it. No, we don't do it in Danish. We do it for the English. world. Mark. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. I was gonna yeah. say, if it's Danish, you go ahead and do it. Do it Danish. Yeah. Yeah. I got two. All right. Let's see. Hi. Hi. So please introduce yourself. So I'm Victor Jimenez. I work for Business Corporation. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, we're a, a, natu- a multinational company. 
Um, and you're doing smart glass. This actually displays in there? Yes, so there's a one display. One side is a display, and then the other is the battery port. Then you can see it here, there's a micro um, there's a micro OLED in one side, and then the waveguide, which is what we built. And then the other side is just completely just a regular glass. Is it micro LED? Micro LED on this LED. side, yep. So that's like groundbreaking. Nobody else is doing micro LED. Not yet, no. Commercial, you we, make this available? Yeah, so we have it, this is what we call the ultralights. This is our New York's product. Um, not yet available in the market, so we're making this as an OEM factor. Uh, but on the market, we actually have the real uh, dual display OEM glasses, so we can go here this way. So this, you also use the micro LED technology, and you see that now there are two eyes. So this is a binocular display. All right, it's got bigger batteries. Yep, so this runs. So the difference is, this is just a display for your phone. So It doesn't have the battery. No, no, it needs just, to use your phone as the power. It need, no, it needs to use your phone as a processor. It has a battery in here. Ah, oh, there is battery. There is a battery in there. Yeah, yeah, and that's why you see little pins, charging mats. Right. Uh, this one has 2,000 milliamps of power because it actually this actually runs Android 11. So this is its own Android device. The other one is just a uh, display only? Yep. For Type C? Yes, sir. And this one is uh, standalone? Yep. You well, don't need no, yeah, else. this is Bluetooth, not even Type C. No need to Type C. You can do the display wirelessly. Yep. Wireless, then. Yep. Yep. That's how it works right now. All right. Continue. Uh, but this is so, so compact. What's yep. the display resolution in there? So this is a limited resolution. Right now, these are just the OEM factor that we have to show people what we can do. So um, this is 656 length by 400 uh, uh, height. So it's around a, 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 an NVGA resolution. All right. Uh, that's cool. Uh, music's here, the Mobile World Congress. Yep. This is the future of mobile phones. This is, so what we see right now is with technology like this, so you are gonna completely leave your phone in your pocket. We're, you're the, we're not gonna replace the phone just yet. You have the 4G, 5G connectivity, the chipsets, so that will stay in your pocket and then you will have your display and that will be your glasses. So your notifications, your translations, your na your navigation, and you can check out on LinkedIn and online and you can see we actually were through going through Barcelona with the glasses, going navigation, doing live translations, all of that. Uh, there's so much potential applications. What's he talking about on the wall here? Um, enabling AR with innovation. Yeah, what is so, that about? So that is about the ultralight. So one of the things that we also do is we all are also an OEM. So we partner with other big companies. And what they what we do is we sell the products, the microprojectors or the waveguides, and then they can build their own products. So that is the beauty of what we do. So you enable an ecosystem of smart glass yep. brands. Yep. Not only Vuzix. Not just Vuzix. Could right. be, maybe you've, you've seen something cool out there and it's actually a partnership. That is it, yep. So that's that's why a lot of people haven't heard of Vuzix. We've been around for 27 years and it's that's one of the reasons, right? Uh, we concentrate on the commercial industrial market, but we also create stuff like this to be able to sell it to other people. And um, you work with any brand in any country? We work with any brand in any Chinese, country. Chinese, you happy to work with them? We were happy we work. We're, no, we're a multinational company. So we got, we got uh, uh, locations in Munich, Germany, in Japan, in the US, in Latin America, and we have distributors all over, so. What, why is that, why do you have here? So one of the things that you gotta understand is, any smart glass is nothing without the ISVs, the software providers. Just like your smartphone, right? Without all those apps, without that ecosystem, they cannot do anything, right? They're just basic hardware. So YDM and GemVision, they're two of our partners. So they do remote support solutions. They do um, they do workflows. Yep. So it looks like this. Yep. So the guys are working device. actually in uh, big factories and big, yep. uh, or maybe they're working on repairing. On repair. Things. Yep. Yep. Or cars. So, so the, you, at this, you can use, you use the camera to work hands free, have an expert help you. We can give you guys a demo. Um, or you could do workflows. So, what workflows does and has done, it allows any person to be trained on the fly. 
So instead of having to sit them down and train them in a facility, you can send them with a press market and say, follow those instructions. And that will be exactly what you're going to do at work. How to repair a machine, how to do maintenance, uh, um, how to maybe build something, uh, build a new assembly line. And they, with the power of Widium, they help us. And you have some that are kind of like optimized for using with helmets? Or yeah, what is so, this design? so this is our unique design. We call it the rail system. So this is just a battery. So you see the unique rail system where we have dismounted solutions for over uh, 20 other different systems. So you can integrate it in different hard hats. So regular hard hats, uh, Japanese ancient hard hats. You can integrate it into headbands, into medical equipment. So this allows you to have a flexibility of being able to, to have it in different locations. So, and also, the uniqueness that a lot of other smart glasses cannot, you can change this on the fly for your comfortability. So in the world, most uh, around 74% of the people are right eye oriented. That means that you like to use your right eye more. So with this, you can actually ch change it on the fly from left to right and vice versa. The software does everything else. And it's very high quality in there? Yeah, so this runs a micro OLED. So this is an OLED display. <clears throat> OLED or LED? OLED. 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 This is OLED. So you got uh, DLP projection. So you have micro OLED. Yep, DLP you have is micro there. LED. Yep. You do air all the technology. All of the technology. So and you can see right there. Oops. Let me try to focus on it for a second. So this is the little display. And that is actually in hand, so that is a micro Right. And it's on right now? Yep. Oh, there I see it. There I see it. So it's nice resolution, very very clear. Yep. Uh, this could be useful for maybe surgeons or yep. so even 2020. people uh, are, who are remote in some uh, disaster zones, but they need to get the expertise from somebody else. They, they already do that. So in 2020, there were around 450,000 surgical operations done with our smart glasses. Um, so they use them for knee replacement, open heart surgery, uh, for war efforts, or in, for example, for the Red Cross, hazard glasses, and they use it in Ukraine to support remote, to remote health care. So they already are using our glasses in all those That's cases. That's amazing. Yep. Because uh, the, the best surgeons, maybe they're in New York or somewhere, yes. and they want to help people on the other side of the yep. planet, so maybe example, in Haiti yep. or anywhere. So an example that we, that we actually did, uh, we partner with other partners like Ohana One, uh, and they have uh, some of our glasses over again, like I said, over there in the Ukraine. Uh, one of the examples is they, they needed a, pedi a pediatric surgeon. And one of the best ones is in uh, California. So they contacted him, and he was able to help the people on the ground to the startling system to be able to perform an operation, a pediatric operation. So, that's so just maybe one he's, of the cases. Uh, he can see what's happening, he can see and then he exactly. can show them at the same time what they should do. Yep. Uh, Two centimeters to the right, one centimeter to the left. Don't do this. Hold do it that. like this. Yep. Be careful there. Yep. Etc. Yep. Exactly. And in real time with the sound real time, and video. sound and video, yep. And then the surgeon is also hands-free. That's the key. The surgeon can still use his hands and his vision just to keep operating. And then uh, if people have like a Ferrari <laughs> and they are in Dubai and they need to call Italy, how do I fix it? Maybe they use it also or something can, like that. Yeah. So they have, uh, that's a little bit more of a remote support kind of tool. Uh, for the industrial side, yes, they do it, but not for necessarily Ferraris, but for helicopters, airplane repairs, helicopter repairs, stuff that is more more uh, technical in the sense of you need a very specialty uh, uh, realm to be able to support it. So what they do is they send the level one technician out, and then they keep the high level engineers on the office floor, and they guide the low level engineers uh, or technicians how to do their performance. And maybe also it could be useful for training new employees yeah. in like a Tesla factory or something. Yeah, yeah. We use, we and then they workforce. can all wear this for the first two, three months. And somebody is helping them become better and better at their work. Yep. That's what they do. That's what Widium does. Yeah. All right. So it's a really cool company, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. of cool uh, applications, but also bringing this form factor to millions of people, hopefully, yeah. soon. Because uh, it, I don't see a difference between normal smart, uh, normal glasses. Yeah, they look exactly like that's the whole point. That's why that's why the there's weight. no microphones. 
There's no microphones in here, there's no cameras because we want them to look just like regular glasses. All right, it's just a display? Yep, just a display. And I see it there when I move it yep. a bit. Is it on, do you think? Yeah. No, no, yeah, that's a waveguide reflection, yeah. Waveguide, I see it sometimes. Yeah, I can turn And you actually do the waveguides. We do. experts in waveguides. Yeah, that's what we do. Optics, yep. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So it's been a good show. Yeah, it was a New great show. New things happening. It's great to have people travel from the US and come again to Europe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we've been here. We never left. As soon as this was open, music was here. So. And as soon as all the AR stuff happens, you'll be ready. We'll be ready. As soon as uh, all the metaverse integration with reality, everything all the people are talking about. Yeah, once that becomes a reality, you will probably be using our hardware in some level or whatever. So. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. Okay, you have my card? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah, that's where the video will go. Do you want me to send you the video after? Did I get yeah, your? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Did I get uh, your? I'll take a photo of it if you want. Okay, no, you cool. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah, um, I was thinking to go to 8. Mm, it's funny, I'm there. Okay, let me go to the Japan. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening in Hall 3. That's just after. So first 8 and then back again. All right. All right. Hopefully it's interesting for you watching live on the internet. And hopefully the sound quality is good. The video quality is good. It's good. And uh, everything is smooth. You got the little three megabit live stream in 1080p. But everything from today and uh, the last three, four videos from yesterday, maybe even some of the other videos, I did record them in 4K. So I'll get the 4K versions up. Because I kind of like 4K stuff. And if you're watching in a live stream, uh, please let me know what is really important to film at this show. The last day, last chance. I got a message that you want a Poco. Um, you want some e ink? Ah, that's a good idea. Let's check if e ink is here. Can you search for e ink? Uh, I'll search for, we'll search for e ink on the Mobile World Congress app. And then, we'll see if he has some exhibition here, the Mobile World Congress. film with Canonical. I hear that they're running Linux on the arm part ThinkPad. So one of these Windows and ARM machines has an unlocked bootloader, some partnership with the Ubuntu Canonical guys to support that. Y F N for years into the future now or something. Four years into the future is now. Alright, I'm gonna turn.
Let's see if you can find some cool startups. Be trying. This is Holland. Korea. Spain. AWS startups. Politecnica. Trying to find this corner. Here we have a presentation for startups. That's Japanese music. So let's check here with the Japan. If they're cool to be on video. Hey, are you with the Jetro? Yes. Is it possible to do some cool interviews? Yes. Which is the coolest one that I can film with? So, what are you looking for? Uh, cool tech. Cool tech. Yeah. This is where the video will go. Is it your YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Is it uh, Jetro right here? All these? So we yeah. have 16 startups. Yeah. You're talking to... Uh, hey. There is a YouTube blogger who's talking about technology. Who would like to know... We got it right here. One second. Yeah, I'll ask you questions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when I screen the, the film, the screen. It'd be nice if you can try to bend over and talk in the microphone. Okay. Because it's shotgun. It's okay. Take straight ahead. All right. Okay. Let's take a this. Hello. Hi. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Takeshi, you can call me TK. I'm a founder of Revcom. Revcom provides a you know, B2B SaaS. It's a self-coaching tool. We analyze and visualize the conversation between reps and customer by AI to realize self-coaching to increase the sales conversion rate. We have more than 40,000 customers globally like Indonesia, Philippines, US, Japan, like SoftBank, KDDI, NTT, Fujitsu. Yeah, that's and, what we do. Uh, if I look here yeah. on your display, uh, so, what do you analyze? So, first of all, we are providing a fully cloud IP phone which integrate with CRM. And you can make a phone call by just clicking a customer's phone number. And a whole conversation is uh, analyzed and visualized like this. Emotion transition of operator and the customer. In terms of how, you can see talk recent ratio, number of silences, interruptions, conversation back and forth, filas. Filas means a meaning as well, such as a, a and speech rate, how many characters per second an operator spoke and a customer did. And in terms of what, there are two aspects. First, you can see what kind of keywords are mentioned, what time by who, and transcribed and summarized and automatically input into CRM. So that's about it. So that's like a, a advanced CRM? Yes. The next gen of CRM? Well, we integrate with CRM. So advanced of, um, you know, next generation of, um, you know, phone, cloud phone. So you could potentially integrate with existing CRM companies yes, and add your technology to them? Yes, so Salesforce, HubSpot, Zendesk, Zoho, um, you know, in-house CRM. You. Yeah, 
they should say, hey, let's try to see how it looks when you integrate. Yeah, yeah. Or do they have like plugins and you just add it to the API and stuff, or that's well, not how it works? It's a no-code uh, integration, so you can integrate with a few clicks. Is it like a browser plugin? Yeah, it's a browser plugin, yeah. Uh, does it work with Streak on uh, some kind of CRM? Uh, yeah. It's in Gmail. Yeah, you or, can work with any CRM, yeah. All right. Uh, CRM is kind of important. It changes the business when people know how to use it good. Huh? It, yeah. it optimizes how they make money. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And also, we integrate with Zoom. So you can analyze a Zoom conversation like this as, as well. Like transcribe by speakers, uh, how much the speaker spoke, number of silences, interruptions, conversation back and forth, what kind of keywords I mentioned, what time by who. And also, you can extract and share the part of the conversation with comments. You can uh, analyze which participant is the smartest one, saying yeah, the smart stuff. Definitely. Say, talking mo too much. Too much. Yeah. Definitely. Or talking not enough. Yes. So not only phone, but also Zoom conversation. We analyze and visualize it. Nice. Thank and you. And what else? There's people use other platforms for video chat. Can you integrate with all the different yeah, ones, or yes. only with specific ones? Yeah. We integrate with Zoom, Meet, and uh, Teams as well. So that means you need to connect and log in to the conversation with your a, with your you, cloud? You don't have to. Or you just do it on the client side? Yeah. Um, if you record a conversation, it's automatically um, you know, analyzed and visualized. What's the price? The What's price the is um, you know, for the Metel, um, you know, 59 USD uh, per ID per month. So it includes a PBX, a cloud IP phone, um, analytics engine, recording, two months record storage. And regarding a meter for Zoom, it's 19 bucks per ID per month. So it's super cheap. Nice. That's, that's cool. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Cool. Nice. Uh, can you introduce me with some of your colleagues? Which one uh, should film at the, at the booth? Maybe I'll ask these guys. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Right. Which other one I should catch? Have another one for you. Yeah? We have two. This one and another one. Artificial intelligence, a digital clone of yourself. Nice. Hello, memory. Call me. I have somebody interested in you. Thank you. He's a technology blogger. He records uh, all the technology. He will put it there. Yeah. He's interested in knowing a little bit about how do you know, how does your phone work, and just from the perspective, he's not a client, but okay. he's interested in understanding what the technology can do, so his audience may be Thank you very much for your okay. My pleasure. Hello. Can you show it on your laptop, or with, how do you show it? Okay, okay. Yeah. So, it's also on here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, one second. Or maybe it's much better. Best put you on this side. Okay. Yeah. Hi. So please introduce yourself. develop something called a personalized AI clone. So the definition is it's a digital mirror of itself. It looks exactly like you, thinks your own way, and talks in your own voice. So um, I would like to show you some dem demonstration video here. So this is clone to clone conversation. Meaning we didn't clone to clone. Yes. We didn't give them any script. The left hand side is a CEO of our company, and the right hand side is a clone of an engineer. They are discussing with each other about uh, the company's problem, and eventually they found a solution for our company. So, this is possible after nine years of uh, research and development of our so, company. So, uh, what I'm looking at 
is a digital clones. They're not actually talking, but they're based on their real face. They're based on a way of thinking. They're based on where talking. Is that what it is? Or is it real yeah, people? They are actually, no, no, they are not human. They are clones, all made by ourselves. So they're not like video of human talking, but they are actually talking, yes, and discussing with each other. Uh, that's kind of like mind blowing. Yeah, just like the. I've been waiting for. Oh, uh, you know, like the Google. Uh, the Google. What do you call it? The uh, Siri. Uh, you call it, yeah, the Hey Google. Yes, Google yes, Home. Yes. And I think it's cool, but I don't like saying Hey Google. Exactly. I want to say Hey John. Exactly. Or it could be. So the, you know, the, like yes, a family member. Yes. And then you would be able to record them and make them alive in the way they think and exactly. with their voice. Exactly, yes. You, you, yes. So the difference between chat GDP or iPhone Siri is that when you ask iPhone or chat GDP, what is the best restaurant in Barcelona? Then your iPhone returns the result of a Google search or a universal answer. But if I ask the same question to your clone, your clone will give me your answer based on your memory or your preference. I visited this restaurant yesterday. It was very nice and gorgeous seafood you know, beside the sea. So uh, that is one of uh, uh, the, the, the features of our digital. Another feature is the concept is an eternal life. So do you know the movie Avatar? So that the world where you know, your uh, record of life, your spirit, your brain is recorded in a tip or a disc and a national agent or like a man in black put your disc to an avatar robot and you're reborn. That world is already possible with our AI clone. So you get an eternal life, you can live forever digitally and you can leave your uh, clone when you die to your descendants and your descendants can talk interactively with your clone a hundred years later. It works? Yes. And it's ready to sell in the market after nine years of research and development. What data you need yes. to create a, cl a clone? We would like to ask three types of data from our clients. One is voice data. You don't need to upload anything. You, you can just talk uh, to our website. The second is your video, uh, about 50 minutes. And the third one is your conversation data. The fastest way to send us your conversation data is to download your WhatsApp uh, conversation. But you have your 100% description and ownership on your uh, information, personal information. So it's 100% encrypted and stored in Web3 decentralized way, so we assure 100% security and privacy. But more than that, you have the ownership, meaning you can decide to what extent and scope of information you want to share with us. Like you want to share with us your conversation data with your family or with a friend, but not probably on business, you know. Uh, here I have a comment that says, your clone will have a data set of your life, which it will be trained with, so it will think like you do. Exactly. That's and, correct. Yes, and they, they will talk in your own way. Uh, I'd like to give you my access to my Gmail. Does that help you? Exactly. If you can read all my Gmail, you will yes. also learn how I think. If you give us uh, yeah, your consent. You know. Some people who sadly are not here anymore. But we have photos, exactly. we have maybe voice recordings, and we have their Gmail account. Exactly. And maybe based on some video recording, it will learn how the person is thinking. Yes, exactly. Maybe it will even make jokes in the same way. Yes, yes. So we can create AI clone of somebody who already passed away. So think about an example, an old lady left alone at home suffering from dementia, her husband has passed away several years ago, but we could provide her husband clone to her based on the, the album and the video, and if there is no record of voice, we could also uh, hire a voice a voiceover actor to replace the voice, and we can give the clone to her so that she can ask her husband, do you remember the day we met or a wedding ceremony throughout her life. She can talk to her. Yeah. And uh, just I'll try to turn because there's a lot of sound over there. Okay. Uh, but you say it's working? Yes. 
exactly. Is it only on your platform, on your website? It's or a are you able tool. to use this as an API? Can you create a smart speaker with a little head that's animated, maybe even in the future yes, uh, as uh, a video, basically, on the TV? Yes, yes. Uh, so we have uh, provided uh, several phones to Japanese celebrities, and it was shown in a TV show in a screen. Another example is there is a 3D hologram of the AI clone of a Japanese uh, neuroscience, very famous person, and it was displayed in National Museum. So we could provide in, uh, in both ways. So it's a digital, so uh, the point is uh, it, we can save it forever in the web system. Are you already very famous? Many people know about your technology, or are you just a startup? Yes, uh, so we are a mature startup, but we have already released uh, several products in Japan. So one of the leading products, our meeting recording system, has been used by more than 5,000 companies just two years after release. And we're quite established as a startup, uh, close to listing. But this AI clone is exactly the reason we were founded nine years ago. And we have kept uh, development for nine years, one shot, and we'll keep it uh, to the future. So there are more invention to be placed in the AI clone. So, however, for the market, on the marketing point of view, we kind of intentionally uh, kind of hide it, uh, haven't really uh, published it yet. So this event is the very first time we appear in public and actively speaking about this product. Because when I look at your video chat here, yes. it's, uh, it's amazing. Thank you. Uh, I, I trust you. I, I trust that you're telling me the truth. That this is your clones talking to each other, because it looks totally like the original person. It looks like it's the original person. I don't know them personally, but I want to see my father. I want to speak with him. Exactly. exactly. And he's he's not been here for ten years. Exactly. But it would be amazing because I have some recordings. And uh, if you can take that and, and basically push a button and suddenly he's kind of like alive, yes. that's completely crazy. Yes. And that will change, maybe it will change uh, humanity and feelings people have. Uh, it will cure depression for many people. Because it's sad when they, they cannot speak with someone anymore, but maybe they could kind of like have a feeling how they are like. Exactly. You can talk to uh, your father, your grandfather, even after they die. And even for somebody alive, for example, I kind of, I confess that I ignore a lot of WhatsApp messages from my mother during this trip. But if there is a daughter's clone for her, she can communicate her clone, uh, talking in all the time. So she won't be lonely alone at home. So if uh, somebody decides to start COVID again yes. and they say that now you have to go on Zoom again, yes. you cannot trust who you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> you might be speaking with the uh, AI. Exactly, yes. So I would say the quality of our AI clone, uh, the, the visual is 90.5% close to the real person. So um, there are a couple of examples I could show you, like the ones you see in TV show. But for these people, they have the real model uh, like behind these clones. And uh, we can't, like, um, we can't, um, I can't say which is the real person's media and which is clone. That's how accurate uh, the quality of our clone is. And also it's, a, it's called the Turing test, right? <laughs> yes. You pass it. Yes. <laughs> and if you ask most people, they have no idea. It's real or not? Is that true? Yes. So something we are discussing. That's all you need to do. Yes. If you can pass this, yes. success. Yes. Now, one thing I'm afraid to ask: Is it very, very expensive service, or right is it now, affordable and okay. it should be for everybody? Yes, it, it, it should be for everybody. That the ultimate goal of our company to distribute to discount to all human being, because um, the goal is. We can focus more on innovation or artwork or time with family while your clone supports your routine work. Um, please re be reminded that the, there are a lot of conspiracy series and uh, Netflix dramas, you know, the, the end is strategy with uh, Avatar clone, but it's not our goal. Upload. I like upload on yes. uh, Amazon Prime. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. exactly. 
the goal is to support human life so that we can focus more on our, uh, our hobby. Or like, yeah. uh, I don't know how good your product is. I need to see it, like I understand and see somebody I know and have an idea if it really feels the same. Does it work in every language? Exactly, exactly, yes. We can cover 35 languages. Uh, we do cover uh, 35 languages in our existing products, like meeting recording system. So we are very good in translation. Actually, we have uh, produced a couple of products in the market, including AI translator. So uh, the, this translation is uh, actually... Uh, where, what, what you can do it in real time? Yes. If somebody speaks yes. Japanese... Exactly. Uh, on one side... You can make them speak English to me yes, exactly. on the Zoom call. Exactly, yes, that's uh, what we do as a service as well. So there is a service called AI Translator here. So if I show it, um, it's very hard to uh, get the sound here, but there is another product called AI Translator. And um, the, the, the idea is that on a Zoom call, when you push the button by English or Spanish or French or whatever, uh, this will, uh, the system will make you trans, uh, automatically translate to your speaking to that language. Um, so uh, then it, it appears in a second. With your voice? With your voice, uh, yes, uh, yeah, it could be with your voice, but uh, there, at the moment, uh, with, uh, with a recorded voice, to be honest, yeah. With a, what's it called, a, a speech to text standard? Exactly, exactly, voice. yes. In so, the future, you yeah. could have your voice speak Japanese, Chinese, anything. Yes. So, like, there are buttons, uh, so English and Spanish, so this man is speaking in different languages now. Yes. Do you need to use very big, uh, like, uh, GPU, cloud system to do it in the cloud? Or where do you process all this? Okay, yes. Or just in your app somewhere? Yes. So, uh, we have a system called uh, Stack. And this is a very interesting system. So, uh, it's like... Uh, uh, Web3 system where we don't have to uh, store client information in our own storage, but it's like uh, it diversified. Uh, so your information is first encrypted and will be stored in decentralized way. So it's not in our hands, like not like we get your information and control by our company. So 100%. It's not sold to the CIA. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. Somebody. Yeah. Not yet. But somebody told me that it's going to be a billion business as a standalone service, and um, somebody from uh, United States told me so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we don't work with the Amazon uh, uh, web services it's uh, not for us. AWS. It's no. not Google Cloud. No. Uh, it's not Azure. No. And it's so not where even. Is it? So it's decentralized. It's a Web three. So your information is broken down into pieces, encrypted. And stored in somewhere on ours, I would say. Decentralized. Decentralized, yes. Uh, so it could be a bunch of uh, dedicated servers, different places. Exactly. So or even your private dedicated server. Exactly, yes. So I know that there is a strong uh, regulation uh, in place in Europe on personal information. However, I believe that this is one of the breaks through that regulation. Are you the CEO? No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm chief business officer, responsible chief for what, sorry? business officer, business responsible officer. for AI com business. So, what's the business? Yes. What um, what business are you going to be doing? Partnerships. You're yes. going to work together with the hardware companies who will maybe make okay. so uh, like do. a screen that's perfect to show a face on or something. Okay, we do everything. Even like making apps, uh, we can do everything by ourselves, technology-wise. But for distribution, uh, we we would uh, look for our partners in distributing this product in Europe to individuals or to corporations. So we are open to any club, uh, club partnership now. Can I see more on your presentation? Yes. What more you talk about in the presentation? Okay. Why do you do this presentation so far? Here at the show only? Or why do you show this? Uh, you launch it uh, on big stage over there? Yes, just one time I uh, showed this uh, th over there, but I, I, otherwise, you know, we just started marketing this product. Uh, it, it hasn't been on YouTube, to be honest with you. <laughs> this is the first time, okay. actually. Thank you. So, yes, this is the image of uh, our personalized AI clone, but this is like an animated version, but, you know, we do make the, the real version of human being. 
Uh, this is the, the um, prediction by a famous uh, university professor, professor from Tokyo. He predicts that this personal AI agent, PAIA, will be uh, the, the strongest use case in AI industry. So, you know, there is a lot of attention on AI industry at the moment, uh, but this is going to be the most uh, uh, strongest scenario, and it takes about 20% of GDP, so there is strong growth uh, expected in, uh, for this market. And our theory and our philosophy is very close to his idea that humans are originally made to be lady, lazy, so we will eventually depend on the personal AI agent. And in our definition, it's a personalized AI clone. So, so you can use your clone to think for you. Exactly, exactly. So, and the, the, the definition is, as it says, it's a digital mirror of yourself. But I would like to highlight it's not a robot, it's not an avatar. It's your living self. So uh, one of the social contests we can provide is that it will definitely raise for social productivity because AI clone can uh, eventually take on some of your routine tasks and we will deploy those functions uh, towards the future. And another important concept is you can live forever digitally. So you can even talk to your grandmother up in heaven uh, even after she dies or in other ways you can live your uh, record of life, your spirit in your uh, personalized AI clone, and when you die, you can, your descendants can talk to you a hundred years later, a thousand years later. So this is a promotion video we provide that uh, it's on YouTube, actually. So uh, the, the word is that, um, well, we made this video several years ago, so apologies that this uh, iPhone is a bit uh, outdated, but the idea is that there are two couples in, uh, shown in this video, and both of them are very like sleepy and enjoying themselves, while their clone can support their uh, work um, at home. So let me stop this video for a while, and this is a clone-to-clone -clone conversation demonstrating that, you know, uh, they can talk to each other, and apart from uh, our eyes, and uh, but uh, well, uh, I would like to add that we uh, under our governance, so uh, there is no um, like risk that you know they uh, they do, do things uh, you know uh, against a human being, but you know our technology as a demonstration, our uh, technology has come to the stage that you know, those clones, they're not humans in this video, they're clones. They can, uh, they can think in, in their owner's way and can communicate with, with each other. Okay. Um, so it's like this. And their voice is very close to the owner. Uh, so this is another on the video of our CEO. And uh, so it's a brief uh, introduction of our technology. So we, we have this blockchain Web3 uh, system that supports a distribution of our AI clone and uh, data storage because to make just one clone for one person, we need a lot of personal information. So it is very important for us to uh, assure 100% privacy and security of that information, as well as to have the endless stretch so that we can make like a clone of for six billion people in this world. So you're using blockchain? Yes. Uh, is it still uh, effective, uh, efficient, reliable? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even if it's blockchain? Exactly, yes. So a person, the owner of the clone, will be uh, will be given a secret key to access their personal information. And that's the only way a person uh, can uh, have a look at the, the personal information. It's not in our hands. We leave the 100% ownership to the owner of the clone, clone who uh, give us personal information. But it's actually work? Yes, exactly. So uh, the, It's not something for the future, it's something... No system and it's ready to use yes so uh, the information we get from the client will get encrypted and will be stored in decentralized way so the it will be broken into pieces in encrypt as an encrypted information and uh, it will be stored somewhere broken into pieces so nobody could read your information even us uh, so, as a company introduction, we are old. We were founded for the very purpose of making this clone. So, this vision, vision, value. Uh, so, uh, to, our mission is to um, 
like make an eternal existence of human being and also um, release human being from uh, routine work, the labor, to to uh, let us focus on creative works, of art, innovation, or uh, time with our family. So there are so many use cases of PAI, uh, the personal uh, AI clone. So you could use this for your business, for example, uh, like a, you, you can use this as a way to communicate with your employees. Uh, for example, if, if you have uh, the, the clone of yourself and you're CEO of your company, your employee can communicate with your clone, ask any questions like, uh, can you give me a raise or something like that? And sometimes it raises uh, the the, the, co uh, the communication inside your company because everybody will enjoy talking with you, clone. Uh, sometimes you know you, they can ask questions if, if they you know ask. Sorry, I'm, am yeah. I talking too much? No, 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 no. You would use the AI in business. Yes. We, so we, you would like uh, let the AI do your work for you, and then you go have fun. Is yeah. that what you're talking about, really? Yeah. So, uh, so to uh, do that officially, we need to work with lawyers or regulators to make, uh, like, for example, we need to sort out, you know, things like, you know, if AI uh, talks uh, in this way in public, you know. Uh, what is the legal effect of this remark? So we need to work with regulators and lawyers uh, that, that, will, uh, that will follow after we distribute our AI clone. But um, if, if the, the owner of the clone give us you know, content, uh, consent at their discretion and risk, you could use your clone um, business. Uh, so if you're, for example, the owner of the business, you know, you can make your clone appear inside your company so that your employee can communicate with a clone asking about the idea and how do you think about this business idea or like, you know, will you give me a raise or something. That would be very fun and enhance communication and probably will lead to innovation inside your company. Or you could, uh, for example, like, you know, make uh, you so this is also possible that you know, you're a YouTuber, but yeah. you, know, you could create your own clone for your, your video so that... <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid of this idea. Yeah. Because uh, while you're talking, I get the idea that, you know, like I could publish a million videos yes. and get billions of views. <laughs> and all of those millions of videos is just based on my clone. Yeah. And it will be on every topic in the whole planet. I'll be talking. And hopefully the clone can be a little bit smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> so and then it, it, will, uh, it will let me speak on everything simultaneously. Okay. So I could be talking on any topic. Yes. It's scary a little bit, but I love it. Uh, thank you. I want to see it. Can I try it? <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. To um, like give some control, what you can uh, do is that you, know, you can give your clone a script for each video. And you can also uh, like um, like make kind of like arrange uh, the the video to be released at a certain time. So it's also it's already possible for you to use your phone as like an announcer for yourself uh, as a YouTuber. Uh, so Maybe uh, instead of recording videos, the best way is just to put my clone on my website. Yes. And you go speak with it about anything you want, right? That's the exactly. best way. Exactly. Yes. 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 A company. But. Or uh, I mean, if I just do a million videos, then I would need to update those videos as every time you update the AI to make it smarter and better, yes. because it's maybe constantly going to be uh, yes. okay. developed. Yes. yes. So, like, how to update your uh, your own clone? You can uh, you can give us your uh, like uh, information all the time through web, as a web service, and also you can talk to your your clone directly so that your clone will get smarter through conversation, knowing about you. So your daily life, you know, your preferences, you know, things that happen in every day. You can update your clone in that way too. So your presentation is amazing. Thank you. When can people click yes. on your website? Yes. When they can start to get their clones? Exactly. How much is the price? How does it work? 
So the, to be honest, the, the very standard minimum price to make one clone is 100,000 US dollars at the moment. Please uh, contact me at the memory Yamato, uh, memory uh, the Yamato at uh, old AI. So I'll be responsible for all the, the customer services and Q and A. So it's not that cheap right now. It's not that cheap at the moment, but because our goal is to distribute this clone to the world, I will consider eventually to uh, expand in our production. Uh, at the moment, we can uh, make up to a thousand clones a year. Uh, however, um, we will expand our operation so that in a price we will go down. What does it take a thousand clones per year? What is the uh, limitation? Limitation? Uh, so. Um, uh, so we stick with the quality of individual clones. So your clone will be made one by one. It's not like an automated process because we really want to make your clone to be like a, as, as closer as, as yourself. And uh, there is uh, some art work we need to do, like uh, put like some like a uh, soul into clone. So it's really like uh, to, to some extent handmade product moment. Yes, and it will stick is, with our quality. Is there a chance that this will be automated? Yes. Is that the goal? It, it could, it's and not shouldn't it be nearly hundred dollar or depends less? Depends on the the demand. You know, if if we are to make you know six billion clone. Uh, and an update every year. I think it, it should be automated at some point in time. But the, the point is, at the moment, there are so many automated AI services, automated AI drawings, you know, animation. But uh, we would like to uh, to uh, uh, tell that the very concept of our phone it is uh, a, it is a very deep business, an eternal life. Uh, a different concept of life and communication. So to tell you that we first want to make a very qualified clone and also be responsible for the security, privacy and governance. And we need to communicate with regulator and, uh, and lawyers because it will give a, a, a huge impact to human society uh, in a irreversible way, I believe. Do you have your clone? No, not at the moment. Uh, we only have uh, the clone of our CEO, and uh, we really enjoy communicating with him so far. So he's on. A, he's always on the beach. <laughs> Maybe. Like like, Maybe. Uh, like many CEOs are, but at least yes. he's got the clone yes. uh, available to you at all times. Yes. That Maybe. tells you. Are you did you do your work <laughs> like this? Maybe. Maybe. Yes. That that's probably the top, the top secret of our company. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> uh, do you have some uh, English-speaking AI clones that people can interact with? Uh, yes. So far, um, I can show you with this yeah. video, but um, yeah. so I, I don't have any um, like English-speaking one. However, uh, there is a very interesting video that I can show you. So because uh, so actually the demonstration of the two clones were speaking English. Yes. Uh, the one before. It was yeah, English. The, it's, it's English and also. Yes, I had to switch the battery. So you were saying there is 
some videos people can watch? Yes. So, like, for example, this is uh, our AI clone in 3D hologram. Uh, sorry, let me, let me start again. Uh, so, so, you were saying there's some videos people can watch? Yes. So, for example, this is uh, our AI clone in 3D hologram. This is a uh, clone of a very famous scientist in Japan, it, and it was displayed in National Museum. And another example is uh, this is a clone of a very famous politician in Japan, and it was uh, uh, it was uh, broadcasted in a TV. And I want to show you that uh, uh, this is a uh, Prime Minister Kishida, current Prime Minister of Japan, appear in our TV. And current Prime Minister. Yes, and he asked our digital clone, uh, the, the digital clone of another politician, uh, this question: Do you like me? And his clone, after thinking a little bit, responded, "I love you." <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is already possible, and uh, was yeah, it was shown in this video. So we have this demonstrated technology. There was nobody sitting behind, writing in a keyboard. No. Say. No. 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 It was yes. just uh, your system. Exactly. So this is the real person sitting in front of Prime Minister, actually. So and it, it, this is his clone. Yes. Uh, so that means you're already on TV in Japan? In Japan, yes. And any TV in other countries? Uh, no, during this event, uh, maybe the Australian TV. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Let's, let's put my, my mic on like this. It has been picked up okay. or not. Yeah. But That's I believe okay. uh, we have. A billion people. Yes, thank you. And I want to be able to go on your website or something, on your app, download your app and just say, add me. Yes. Because yes. um, two Teslas, it, it's hard. Okay, yes. But I guess it's the beginning. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Do you think companies like Google, Amazon, somehow are also have it, but they're very afraid to launch it? Because so, they, their lawyers maybe are saying, ah, uh, be careful. Yeah. Don't get into that. Because people are going to think that Google is evil. Or yeah. they're going to think that Amazon uh, or somebody, you know, like the EU jumps in and starts making regulation yeah. and saying, oh, we don't want... Because it's too, it's too mind-blowing. It's too... You know? So, like in Japan, I was uh, talking with uh, the Minister of um, Economy, Commerce, Trade, uh, I forgot the, the, the official name, and uh, the Minister, Mr. Nishimura, gave me uh, his support. AI Kun, it's interesting, why don't you do that? So, in Japan, at least I got a support from the, the highest politician. Um, nice. I don't know what GAFA is doing, but um, the, in Japan, we have this very unique religion originally that there are as many as 800 gods in uh, in Japan while you know, there are in many countries there is only one god so the idea is we believe in personalized clone it's not like a one single answer that AI gives to the whole humans it's your clone and it's your thought and it's your memory so in this way uh, unless you know we uh, we give clone too much technology to do things on behalf of human being or whatever it, it is under control and it really supports uh, you and it can be a record maker of your life that's our philosophy uh, nice i got a few comments where people are saying uh, can you clone the voice and behavior of the 10 years dead body in the grave we already spoke about that, right? Uh, even if people died a long time ago, yes. maybe you'll be able to grab their photos, yes, grab exactly. their videos, exactly. grab the, the, the voice recordings, exactly. access their digital life. Yes, you can that's, create that's something out possible. of that. Yes. Maybe we can all, all also create a clone of Leonardo da Vinci or Napoleon, and that could be very fun. And asking us about what is your favorite food. And there's uh, somebody commenting, um, uh, there's a new pickup line and they would say, hey girl, I like you so much, I'd like to make an AI clone out of you. That's like uh, touching something weird. Thank you very <laughs> you much. You have to be careful with the limit, right? You don't want people to check you and, and uh, live with your clone without your permission. Oh yes, yes, yes. So uh, the, the, the production is uh, so from, from us, so uh, we will, um, we will uh, try to give 100% control. And uh, when we give secret key to this blockchain system, 
we'll make sure that you know, it comes from the real person. It's not like somebody like uh, you know doing things on behalf of others. The other person, yes. And you can select who in your family has access to your clone. Yes. You can say exactly. You know, these people can check me out. Yes. yes. But I don't want my, I don't know, my stalkers. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Something like that. Yes. Yeah. This is actually a very good product for stalkers. So the idea is, um, well, I shouldn't have said that, but the idea is if okay, there is a clone of Angelina Jolie, and if you're a big huge fan of her, if there is a clone of her, uh, the idea is her clone can uh, like say your name remembers a conversation with you. Someday we will probably do that, you know. Maybe she wants that because then yes. the, the stalkers will leave her alone. Yeah. They will just play with her, exactly. with her clone only. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, the, the, the clone of Angelina Jolie will remember uh, the conversation with you and, you know, so you, she can be like your girlfriend, you know, virtual girlfriend. And here's the comment, uh, an American's got talent. Yes. Uh, somebody was using deepfake, deepfake uh, face and voice. Yes. And uh, there's a lot of talk of deep fakes right now and stuff like that. But uh, it's a fascinating future if you can actually use it positively. Yes, yes, thank you. So, like, uh, thinking about like a girlfriend boyfriend relationship, like uh, I'm saying, talking about the, the most casual way we're using it. So, like, I, I'm from Japan, but Japanese men seldom say, I love you to his wife or girlfriend. But this can be a solution, you know? Your yeah. girlfriend can. You can, can practice ask, with a clone. Exactly. Or your girlfriend can ask your clone, you know, do you love me a hundred times a day? <laughs> <laughs> And if he says no once out of 100 times, yes. you know there's something wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or if you have some uh, idea, you can practice with the clone first yes. before you ask your wife. Exactly. You know, yeah. Like, uh, like when you, can, you, yeah, when you propose, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. See the reaction first, and then uh, maybe you can tweak the clone so that, so she says yes. Yes. Who yes. knows? Yes. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. So looking forward to mass availability of this, but the first examples are going to be very interesting. And hopefully you can send me some links or something so I can post this Thank under the video. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for the interview. Thank, Thank you. you. Cool. Thank you. What, really? I didn't know. <laughs> it was live. It's live. It's still live. You see, uh, there's people asking questions here. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, I also record in 4K. So we will go on the internet after 4K. Okay. And maybe I can have your own card. Yeah. And I'll give you my card. The video is oh, oh, that's not my card. Here. Cool. And if I can make my clone, that'd be great. But you need 100,000. We'll talk about it. Because <laughs> I'm a volunteer. I want to be living forever. That's my, that's my number one goal in life. I'm joking. <laughs> It's very cool. I hope uh, it's all about a question of the quality. I want to see the, you know, I want to see how it feels, how it looks like. They're cool. Okay. I will check your videos. So if you send me, if you want to send me a video with a description, what do you think I should use for your video? And tonight, maybe I'll see if I have fast. Oh yeah, tonight I will publish the full video. And if you have some cool links, I can put them all in the. And let's see, maybe you can get a million views. We need to share it on the social media. You know, maybe you can help to share it on your social media, like a LinkedIn or something. Or if you know, like 20 fans already, or and they watch it. If they like the video, then YouTube will show it to 10,000, 20, 20, 200,000 people. You know, depends. And what can what can help also? You know, like community of uh, AI, maybe on Reddit or on Japanese forums or something. Well, many people like to talk about this. Maybe if they watch it a lot, it will help this video to get many views, you know? So, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Nice. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay, let me go. Are you with the Jetro? Yeah? Yeah. I just did a video with some of these guys. I want to send you the video after. Yeah. Here. It was live streaming. It was live. But I will post it in 4K tonight. The videos. Okay. Thank you.
Cool. Okay. Let's go to hole three. Let's walk next to the AWS startups. A couple days ago, I had an AWS fan who was asking me to film AWS stuff. And here are the experts. Austria, startup paradise. Andorra, Korea. There's probably so much cool stuff here. Uh, here we got some big robots. The people having conversations. Film with some big companies in the last few hours of the show. Uh, two space, so it's only two, three hours left. Maybe I can do one more. So I like to film with Swiss guys. Time to go. Time to go. How are you? Can I do a video with uh, one or two of your cool startups? Which one is the best? Uh, the best. Um, what's really cool? What's amazing? Hey, I'll ask these guys. Yeah. It's amazing. It's really Okay. Okay, I'll try to do them, and then after we can do. Yeah. D health? Yeah, D health. Okay. Uh, organizing the whole conference for university. Cool. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Can I do a video with you? Sorry, I interrupt. Yeah. You talk. If you want, I do these guys first. Yeah. Is good. Okay. Cool. Hi. So. Oh, sorry. I need to turn the microphone. One second. Hi, so please introduce yourself. My name is Sergi, nice to meet you. I'm a founder of Excite. Excite is a multiplayer AR adventures platform connecting metaverse experiences with real world scenarios. And uh, what do you show here? Uh, that's, that's the Excite app. You can see, like, that's what's available through the camera app. You can uh, sort of, you can see holograms on top of the cafeterias, in front of the places, and on top of the people's head. That's a, a hologram avatar, like in a multiplayer setting. Uh, there are different scenarios supported, like let's say I go to the Red Hot Chili Peppers concert and around the stadium there are album covers, you can collect them and get some tickets for free for, for the concert. So yeah, it's a multiplayer and it's a platform, so anybody else can create adventures on our platform for businesses, for personal use cases, or if you have a passion about some type of sport or so something actually like that. It's like it's like Pokemon Go, but actually useful. Yes, exactly. In this dimension, you can communicate with the world through camera, with businesses through gamified scenarios, and it's not only useful, but it's also a multiplayer one. Multiplayer, Min on the cloud, just in your app, 
as it like an app that you can sell to other brands and they can use the technology behind for their events and everything? Yes, yes. Uh, other other businesses can create an adventure on our platform and engage their audience, like adding digital sort of slice, digital uh, lay, layer onto the, this world. So we don't believe in a metaverse like some virtual realm where we live in as a shiny avatars. Instead, we believe that the main the main slice, the main sort of level of the metaverse is this world because everyone has digital information about them. Every object has digital information. And with Excite, we can communicate with this digital information in this world through the camera in a gamified way. On your video, it yes. looks very precise, everything. In the app, is it going to be that? How does it know that this person needs to have this thing on top? Oh, you does need to have an app and you enable. Or every person needs to be part of the app? Yes, yes. You will only see the hologram for people who enter the same game as you. And you sort of, you know how in the game, like in Fortnite, you have an, something on top of your uh, character, like an avatar on top of your character. So this avatar says your name or your, you know, YouTube link, whatever, whatever that is. That's the same, an avatar for the person inside the game. So yes, all the holograms for people, they have to be enabled. And yes, we recognize people on every single frame. And the good thing, you know what? We don't use facial recognition. Instead, we recognize people with our algorithm, which is called onion recognition, layer by layer, starting from location, followed by the style of your t-shirt, style of your shoes, and many other sort of visual characteristics, excluding your face. Does it work? Yeah. Because uh, this is like, it looks totally like uh, a, uh, the upload TV show or something. It looks like, uh, but how good does it look in real life? Let's let's see. <laughs> now I'm getting. <laughs> you nervous. have the app? Yes, yes, absolutely. It's live. It's and on... then your colleague is on it. I think so. Yes. Let me show you. You see the hologram? It appears. Yeah, it's an empty profile right now. We have plenty of profiles, and I can add him to my team, or I can. So I see. I say he's a business co-founder. And I can, you see there are holograms on the street, like you can, you can walk around the, 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 the conference and collect some of them. And you can message him and say, hi Dima, like how are you doing and things like that. And also there are many, many other sort of uh, mini games, like, like this is a Build Your Unicorn Team adventure. There are something if you want to find some food and drinks and things like that. So they should appear, yeah. Is he in the game too, or you just add anyone? No, we just no, no, no. We just we just talked, and uh, they downloaded the app and enabled this to be able to to to, to Whoa, recognize. really? Them. Yeah. Uh, do you need uh, to know where the phones are? Uh, yes. Geolocation. Everybody's sharing the positions. In yes, the, yes. Until in you the turn outdoors it off. or inside. Yeah, that's a good point. We actually run a conference pilot, and some of those conferences was underground, so that didn't work at all well for us. So Can you use some kind stuff? of uh, Wi-Fi and stuff, uh, indoor GP, it like is, they use it, Bluetooth yes, uh, it is location possible, stuff? Yes, but we don't use it. Right now we use GPS and we track where the camera is looking and we sort of, you can think of like what would be that point in, in, the, in, in, in the space if you solve some trigonometry and plus we recognize people and their sort of identity on each single frame like through machine learning on the edge. Like we don't send the images to the cloud to recognize it, we recognize it on the device. You could maybe add the, the conference, uh, what do you call it? Uh, when you like indoor navigation. Or what do you call it? Uh, uh, interacting and stuff like that. Like matchmaking? Yeah, exactly. matchmaking. Exactly. You can point the camera to me or to anybody else here and send me a message and we can start chatting on X side as well. Even uh, singles evenings. Exactly, that's and one can, of uh, the adventures dating. that can be created on our platform. So what we decided, we don't want to spread too much between use cases. We just concentrated on gaming and being a platform. So that single, singles or dating or conferences or anybody else, they can create whatever they want and whatever solves their business problem. And uh, we will help them. We will allow this sort of, you know, like a lens which you can use to enter this dimension. And you can switch to a different mode when you are close to a specific event yes certain and then you have this activated yes. only when you're there certain you adventures are global and certain other certain adventures for example there is an adventure for this conference to build your unicorn team and pitch your startup it's only available here previously it was available on the tech crunch disrupt in october so you were where where was the tech crunch disrupt in the us yeah yeah it was in san francisco California? In the US. Uh, yeah and what did they think 
Oh, it was quite successful. Like we found investors committed for 600,000 out of 1 million that we are raising right now. And uh, yeah, we came here to finish the round. Are there competitors trying to do something similar? Yes, we had a very strong competitor who, uh, like I don't want to disclose their name, but they actually did the, exactly what we did, but with facial recognition. And because it's prohibited in European Union and in US, they got sued. They had to pivot to be a video editing tool and they paid some, some fines. There are other competitors who do things for cars or like, for example, a company Blue Vision Labs, they did absolutely the same, but for the car and they got acquired by company Lyft, which is a competitor of Uber in the United States. So yes, this technology is present on the market, but people use it in different ways and we believe- They try that to do it for cars. Yes. I mean, uh, we can do this for cars as well. So when the Lyft car arrives- Yeah, you can, can point you the camera it, and see which, which one is? is yours. Yes, yes, yes. It works already in Lyft? I think they're going to launch about this it. soon. Yes, yes. They acquired the company, but they did not integrate this yet. Uh, how about somebody has another app idea and they want to use your technology, they can work with you together and do something else, or you want to be the app for everybody to use? Absolutely. They can create an adventure on our platform, or they can contact us how we can help them to integrate with us. So right now, the plan is to make the content cre uh, adventure creation as easy as possible so that you can just, you know, click, 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 or maybe even send a message to the chatbot and it will create an adventure for you. However, there was also an idea that you can embed our SDK inside somebody else's app, like in the dating app, and then they will see like a nice sort of heart-like pinkish avatars instead of our default avatars. Yeah, that is possible. That's not sort of right now in production. So you're the founder and CEO? Yep. And uh, is this your, your colleague? Yes, yes, this is Dmitro, our head of design. Uh, Dima, our head of design, and uh, Alex is my co-founder in Kiev. He is in Kiev in Ukraine. And uh, there is another person, he is not Where right now live? with us. I live in Sydney in Australia for the last five years. I'm Ukrainian, I moved to Sydney like five years ago. Dmitro lives here in Spain. Yeah. In Spain? Yeah, yeah. Which one is best, Sydney or Spain? Sydney, absolutely. <laughs> well, Why? the best one is Kiev in Ukraine, man. Why is it cold week? not right now, but yeah, the best one is Kiev. I love Kiev more than, 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 than Sydney. Uh, is it true that Ukrainian guys are the best uh, software engineers in the world? Well, that wouldn't be modest, and we were, you know, educated and uh, harnessed <laughs> in a way that, like, you have to be modest in your life. Because this I, is really hardcore, this stuff. Yeah. And you're actually doing this. Yeah. You yeah. Two, I can, you I can tell guys. you. I can tell you. But you have a huge team behind. No, that's an interesting part. I want to show this to you because that's all deserving. That's all because of my team. Yeah, like, sorry, that's me. Second. I'll turn this. Yeah, right there. Yeah. And maybe you can also explain a little bit your background, what you did before and stuff like that. Yeah, that's me. Uh, my name is Sergi. I worked at Atlassian and uh, I was always passionate about computer vision. And here you go, like communicating with the world through camera. Alex, he built a game dev studio in Ukraine and he is still in, living in Kyiv, Ukraine. And the people on my team, like for example, Mikola, he, worked at, he works at Google actually right now. We haven't started, you know, we haven't went into, into full-time track. He used to help us before Google. And Dmitry is here. David Maiburda, he is a very proficient machine learning expert. Uh, worked previously in companies like Reface, for example, and many others. So yeah, we've got quite an international team right now internationally located, but however, they all are Ukrainians. This guy, by the way, Alexander Kirin, he is on the front lines uh, protecting oh, no. Ukraine right now. So yeah, yeah. he's also in Ukraine. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I uh, hope everybody stays safe. Yeah. Uh, and this finishes he, so you can uh, focus on good. technology. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot. This is awesome. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see more demos on your website, on your YouTube channel, or there is people can YouTube just download this and start playing with the app? Yes, yes, yes. The app is available. There is a couple of adventures, not thousands as I promised, but it's coming, you know. So there are a couple of adventures. It's available on the Play Store and Google, uh, and App Store. And uh, yeah, you can download it and play with it. And uh, we can exchange contacts and I can send you more videos. You know how uh, those funny guys who did uh, Pokemon Go, yeah. that kind of team, and the way they launched, as far as I understand, it's just some kind of AI that just added the bunch of Pokemons all over the world. They yeah. didn't have to manually go and start adventures. Yeah. Could you do something like that where it just works all over the world? It's already overnight? already thousands of crypto coins, like coins that are going to be transferred into crypto already on the streets of Barcelona and Europe and the United States. So we did this. However, what they had is a 
very expensive franchise like a Pokemon. They also own Harry Potter franchise for gaming. So you don't need uh, that. I mean, yes and no. So when, when it gets to collect something, it kind of resonated very well with Pokemons. You know, you collected Pokemons in the original scenario, so yeah, it resonated well. However, we will go with just many custom adventures instead of like one big franchise. And then okay. the customer needs to pay to make an adventure? Yeah, yeah, as I, as I, as I told you before. Uh, general public can create adventures for free. And then if you if you if you're passionate about soccer, that's free, create an adventure, all good. But if you you can create more sophisticated adventure and charge for that. I take a cut, Excite takes a cut, and then if a business wants to create an adventure, they have to assign coin value into three-dimensional objects and they have to buy those coins from us. That's how we charge businesses into B2B. But not as an advertisement. So we are not targeting this to particular users. Instead we allow those businesses to sort of engage with their audience in a new way, like through the camera. So you using crypto also? Yes, yes, it's a Web3 yeah. powered startup. Yes, yes, yes. And But you could do stuff without the crypto? If people want not to use crypto or everything is crypto? I mean, yeah, obviously, like those games for businesses, they don't have to be crypto and they can be like just a virtual sort of currency within the app. Like for example, uh, if you if you if you want to create an adventure, you just just pay a certain amount of money. You get those like number of objects that you can use in your app. So, meaning if you are a small coffee shop in Barcelona, you will only pay this, you know, for a small adventure because you want to attract like 500 people, maybe a thousand people. But if you are a McDonald's, you want to attract maybe hundred thousand people, or you know, make them more happy about your products. So you're gonna pay more because of like wider scale of such adventure. Cool. Thanks a lot. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where can I see this? Uh, I'll give you this. Awesome. This is where it's going. It was live. But it I will, was live right I will now? upload the 4K version after. Okay, tonight. cool. If you want, you send me an email with yes, a I will. very cool description, the links and everything, and I'll publish with your video later. That's awesome. Yes, I'll do okay. this straight away. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cool. My, my wife is Ukrainian. Oh, nice. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna catch up with the person I talked with previously. Hi. Can I make video with you? Hi, sure. Yeah. Alright. Hi. Are we oh. live? No? Yeah, one second. Ah, you want your colleague to be on? That's cool. I'll, I'll just film with them and I'll be right back, okay? Uh, oh no, okay, let's okay. start. Sorry. Yeah, 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 good? Okay. Hi. So please introduce yourself. My name is Alina and I'm the CCO and co-founder of the Ukrainian startup Zili. And Zili is a mobile first web store and ad builder that helps small business owners start selling online instantly. So in our app with artificial intelligence, they can create web stores in seconds and then automatically start a promotion on Facebook, Instagram, Google and TikTok also with artificial intelligence. So what am I looking at here? Oh, right. This is our mobile app in App Store. So now I can show you how this web stores made on Zilli looks. So for example, just for our booth came uh, the guy from investment fund from Poland and we generated this web store for him yes. just in a few seconds. So now I can create any web store for you. What did you have to input to do that? Our users just need to tell us their business industry, their business location, and this information is enough for our artificial intelligence to create a web store for you. You just say, I'm doing business, I want to sell uh, three coats, or what's it called, hats, or handbags, Yeah. and uh, my name is this. Yeah, and you're based in New York, and that's enough for us. And I like pink or something, don't yeah. need to say that, yeah. potentially. You, potentially you can to make your web store more personalized, but also you want to add more uh, informal text to your web store. So you just need to answer short questions in our onboarding and we can probably add some sense of humor to your uh, web store text and so on. So as you can see, we generate not only text, we generate also images. <laughs> So you will have in your web store photos and videos of your product. You will have some special offers. You will have information about how it works, FAQs, and so on. So for now, we have more than 7,000 users from the United States, UK, Brazil, Mexico, and Chile. Uh, and uh, we also have uh, 
more than fifty thousand dollars in MRR so far. So uh, it works. Yeah. And after, if there's a few things you want to change, you can change. Yeah. Or it it's very easy to change it because. Oh, it's very bad internet connection here. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah. then after you have created your web store, you can just open our mobile app and uh, change all the content here right in our mobile app. So you will have here a title, description, you want to change one word, you can change it. You want to add more offers, you can add them. So it's, it, uh, we provide our users with very, very, very fast time to value. They could potentially buy a domain name with you, or they could yeah, potentially yeah. get an app, or they could get a web app or website, up, uh, uh, mobile optimized website. Everything in one click. Oh, anything yes, in one. Yes. We also uh, so we also provide domains for them, hosting for them. So they don't even think that's like what should I do? What should I update? And so on. Uh, we hold all these parts like on our site. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Uh, how good is it? Because it's a big question, right? Are people? You say seven thousand users? Yes. Uh, are they all happy with it? They they using it? Yes, they are happy and we have great use cases so far, to be honest, because, uh, for example, one guy a few weeks ago uh, has just started selling with Zilli and he got more than $6,000 in sales. Also, uh, the girl also from Brazil, for example, she started um, promoting her business with Zilli. She's a personal stylist and she attracted three clients with Zilli in, in a few days and she got more than $1,000. When she paid for a subscription, only $20. 20 per month? Yes. That's your subscription price? Yes. It depends on the market. So if you are in, in the United States, you will pay approximately $80. Per month? Yes. And in some other countries, it's 20 Yes. Depends. In Brazil and Mexico as well. But in the United Kingdom and in the United States, the price is $68. And what is your AI? Our How so do you make it? What is it using? Yeah, so we have integration with GPT 3.5. So, and with this integration, we are able to generate for our users web stores, creative banners. So it means um, uh, ad, like banners for advertising on Facebook, Instagram, Google, TikTok, and so on. And also, uh, we provide them with articles for their blog, for their. So we are now working on uh, web stores with many pages. So that is why your web store will be also optimized for CEO. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you and so much. And you're looking for investors? Yes. You're looking for, what are you looking for? Uh, we are looking, we are about to close our seed round. So, yes, if you want to join, just come to our booth. Cool. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. You have my card? You have the card? It's going to go there. Thank you. Can I have also your contact? Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you can. It's. It was live, and tonight there will be a um, like 4K version of the video. If you want, you can send me a description that works for your video. Great, thank you. Use that. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Hi. One second. So you will ask some questions, yes? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Julia. I'm a CEO and co-founder of uh, Numo ADHD. We are building the support and productivity app for teens and adults with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And uh, we just want to help all neurodivergent people in the world feel better, be more productive and live more fun life. How does it work? Yeah, so this is like an app, like a daily app that helps uh, people to organize their like daily house tasks and uh, it's implementing like to the small support groups like for public accountability so like you stay connected with your friends uh, around like your daily tasks we also have some educational materials about adhd but it's delivered in like in fun way uh, with the memes and like interactive uh, elements and we also have a strong community part there so it's like a daily support daily companion app for people with this condition you can show the app yeah, yeah. Uh, so here I have my accountability squad. Here is my friends and my co-founders. And like all of our users have the same, like 
the same like uh, support groups. We can see here what everybody else is doing and I can endorse people and give kudos for example. We also have like learning materials about ADHD so uh, you can learn something like healthy stories about new coping strategies of, on ADHD. And, uh, and we also have the community part uh, where we are sharing the best ADHD life hacks about how to, how to live better with it. And people are actively sharing their stories and like just, uh, you know, something like that. So it's actually launched? It's available? Yeah, it's available worldwide. Uh, we are profitable. We have more than 2,000 paid users. And in our ecosystem, our app, we have more than 50,000 of users. Uh, we have users like from United States, like mostly in English speaking countries, but also want to scale to Spanish speaking market this year. Is this the best ADHD app? It's the most cringe free ADHD app that is built by neurodivergent people for neurodivergent people. And we basically want to make it the best in the world. Sometimes people comment on my videos and say my, my questions are cringe. What does it mean? It's like weird, you know? Weird. Yeah. yeah. It's, so it's some apps are a little bit weird. But yeah, you know. it's look like a hospital, you know. And we think that like life is ADHD is challenging, but uh, you still can enjoy your ADHD and your have like your strong uh, potential that like works to be unlocked. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Data. So uh, this also allows for us to access the functionality of transferring that data and selling that data <laughs> into uh, the uh, data health and ecosystem. So at the current stage, I don't know how much you're familiar with it, but uh, the ecosystem of data in, in medicine especially is quite fragmented, where there's a lot of intermediaries and uh, brokers that are involved in the actual sale process and the uh, process from getting the data from the patients to the research institutions. So what we are enabling to do is for patients to sell their own information and keep their own information themselves to the institutions directly, providing cheaper, better, and more accurate information for research and drug development. So if you go from one uh, physician to the next, you can bring your data? Easily. You will have it at your fingertips, or you can s save it and share it with your physician. In addition, the physician, the new one that you will go with, will be able to upload the new test results and new information to your profile, which is called your medical ID. So the medical ID sort of acts like your passport, which tracks and keeps all of your information in one place for you, no matter where you go, which country, or which doctor you see. All of it is being stored in one platform. Uh, do you show your platform right here? Yes, of course. So, uh, you can also find this, this video on YouTube as well. <laughs> but. Uh, as I'm, as I'm mentioning, in the very center is a client. We connect clients as data owners to the data suppliers, clinics, and other medical institutions which keep data and store data to the data consumers, which are the research institutions that I mentioned. All of it runs on our internal blockchain, which functions on dHealth tokens, which are DHLT tokens. So uh, at the core of our system is still our user. User is a private individual that can access our system through anywhere around the world. Uh, it can be done in a few clicks. The user will have access to their data profile, which consists of three types of data. Personal data, medical data, and lifestyle data. So all of these three uh, pieces of information are recorded separately in the blockchain and are only recognized by the system, providing full privacy and visibility of the information to the user. Once the user is regist registered, they can access all of the functionalities of the system and uh, up access all the medical history as well as other participants through our DHLT token. Once the profile is created, they'll all have the back end which have their medical card. They'll have uh, additional benefits like uh, winning off competitions, awards, other status updates, and they can passively uh, gain income within our system. Further, uh, the system provides benefits in terms of DHLT tokens, which could be exchanged either for other services or goods or for other crypto and fiat currencies within the system. So, 
that's a short introduction for you. Is it possible to do that without using crypto? At the moment, there have been a few attempts to do this outside of, it's not even crypto, it's more about blockchain, right? Um, crypto is just simplicity for finance. Blockchain itself is decentralization and depersonalization yeah. of information. So uh, it would not be possible to do this with the current uh, security standards to do this outside of blockchain. Since blockchain is at the end something that provides the privacy flexibility and the resources needed for these types of transactions to take place under the current uh, legislative infrastructure, of course. You couldn't just uh, use uh, AWS or Google Cloud or something uh, and be fine with it? You could use it to store data. However, if you want to access it from anywhere around the world and transact with the data, you cannot do this because due to GDPR compliance, you have to store the data and access data only in the country where it's been procured. Otherwise, it gets uh, too risky to transact. So what blockchain does is actually allows users to attach their information while it's being stored in a different region through the hash uh, capabilities and smart contracts. it's card. completely unhackable. Well, Nobody will read your data. It's impossible since the only entity that can access this information is the system itself. It runs on Ethereum and the Ethereum security protocols is probably better than any AWS or Azure protocols you can find. So what is your plan right now? Are you um, uh, looking for investors or are you launching? Or? Yeah, so we already launched six months ago with our decentralized application. Uh, in six months period, we already gained 70,000 users actually, organically. And right now we're in a seed round where we're raising four million for development of the application to become more scalable and to develop a better client and so that the companies like Novartis and LaRoche could access and purchase information seamlessly. There's a lot of talk of blockchain, but it's hard to see a use case where it's really huge already, right? Uh, I wouldn't say so. All the banking infrastructure runs on blockchain. If you uh, Really? They use blockchain? Almost everything, yeah. Uh, if you've been paying attention, all of the banking has increased in speed, right? You probably noticed it from uh, sending a money and you receive it within three minutes. This whole process has been streamlined by blockchain. Uh, logistics are almost all running on blockchain right now as well, where people can track exact the location of their packages. So these industries already have been revolutionized forever. I thought they were just talking about it. I didn't know they were actually using it. Well, uh, I thought they were just using uh, centralized uh, cloud and stuff right now. Uh, it helps record and transact faster and cheaper. So it has been integrated into even Swiss banking ecosystem years back. So. Uh, it does provide the security necessary for that types of transaction and transfer of data without need for intermediaries to be there. Uh, of course, there is also other cases where uh, blockchain has been tried to be incorporated in the industry. However, in the medical industry, it seems like it's the best solution due to the privacy concerns and the uh, nature of the data. So. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. You have a, let me give you my card. There. Already It's going to go right here. Actually, it's live. Oh, it's, it, was it was live, live right? Yeah, but I will publish in 4K tonight. If Great. you want, you send me an email with a description. Yeah. Very technical, I can use and link and everything. Yeah, we'll, we'll send you something. We publish the 4K version later. Excellent, okay, thank, thank you, thank you very much. Where do you live? I live in uh, Lausanne, between Lausanne, Lausanne and Dubai. Ah, we live uh, we were already know, yeah, half an hour ago uh, from there. We, yeah. we already uh, heard about it, yeah. So. Maybe we do videos in Lausanne. Or in Nice. Let's take or, nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. if you're ever, you know, it's a three-hour drive anyway, so yeah, we'll be nice. happy it's to just, do more. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you just uh, take one of these raft boats on the <laughs> Geneva Lake, <laughs> yeah, and we sure. arrive in Nice at the end, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, or a car, or a car. Uh, a car is better. <laughs> but uh, we'll be happy to keep in touch. Okay. Cool. I hope you like the well, video and we hope can it get, went well. share it to the social media and everything. Okay. 100%. We'll do Thank it. you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, if you're watching my live stream, some guy is posting something wrong. I don't know how to <laughs> delete that on my yellow box. I haven't had this problem before. Sorry about that. Uh, if my phone was connected, I could do it with my phone, but I'm using my SIM card for something else. Oh, actually. Uh, 
uh, let's just find uh, yeah can you make can you put my phone on the back All right. Uh, can you make a hotspot? I need to see if I can log on to my live stream and fill around someone. to stop that. Sorry about that. Got it. Thanks for all the guys, people watching. Uh, next I'm going to hold three. Try to film with Canonical. Last couple hours left of the show. I want to see an arm part thing pad running Linux. I've heard that they have it. Because that's... Mm, awesome. I don't know how much people have been able to run Linux on ARM MacBooks. I guess only virt virtualization or what do you call it. Welcome to the halls of Mobile World Congress. Oh, I see some drop frames. Is it because of the nearby Wi-Fi hotspot? Maybe. Hopefully, not too many drop frames. The cool thing I'm doing today is all my interviews are recorded in 4K and I'll just publish those after. So you're getting both the 3 megabit per second live right now and the same is going to be in 4K 60 150 megabit which I think YouTube compresses down to 30 or something maybe 20, 25 megabit in 4K 60 that's coming after, it's coming tonight because I'll be having to use the last of my 200 gigabytes of the SIM card to get those videos uploaded. I don't think I'm even near 200 gigabytes because I'm only streaming in 3 megabit per second. I think that's enough for like three months, 24 seven. I don't know, I'm just guessing. So who else here in the chat? wants to see um, who wants to see Ubuntu Linux running on the Ampard ThinkPad who wants to see that who who who
sorry. Thanks. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Could you possibly so show some camcorders? Um, here at the Mobile Walk Congress, there's a lot of mobile cameras which are all extremely bad. I mean, I'm kind of joking, but it's kind of true also. It's hard to do great photos when you have 0 0.5 centimeters to play with. The optics are so flat. Uh, What's the joke? The optics are your mama. What? Uh, I don't know. There's a joke there somewhere. The optics are so flat. How can you say that's a great camera? That's a joke. Okay. But I mean, now they're doing efforts. Leica is actually pushing show me to do something real and maybe it's awesome I'm not sure possibly so now I need to figure out where canonical is canonical let's try to find them on the app yeah CN oh yeah let's click there let's click on this Let's try to find them. This Nokia. Uh, let's try to uh, directions from Honor. Let's see. Honor is there. I guess it's behind there, huh? Is there Amdax on this side? Amdax, yeah. It's over there. Nokia. Oh, let me ask this guy. Yes. Try to add him in my LinkedIn. Hi, how are you? Good, how are we you? did videos Long many time. times. Yes, yeah. That's my YouTube. Yeah. I did video with your oh, friend good. the other day. Half an hour booth tour is really oh, cool. Nice. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. And I'm live streaming with a Qualcomm powered device. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, good to see you. Okay. Hey. Hey.
I'm thinking I might up, up code. Yeah, that's the one. I'm thinking I might uh, upgrade the quality to 4K on that because I have a 4K version. Oh, nice. So I might publish the 4K. Also. Awesome. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks for doing. Yeah. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Oh my god, this rock chip here. Hey, you have? No. Can do video? Yeah. Yeah? Can I come in? Too late? You can speak? Can I do interview with you? Why? Uh, talk about the, the all this latest stuff. Yeah, I saw you many times in see Yeah. You okay to do a little video? Talk about this. You're just about to leave, huh? It was last last chance to do a little video. Do you have something cool you want to show, or only this? Uh, okay, the way from the, yeah. I, I talk to you. I yeah. He said he wants to show you, but there's nothing important. How how long for? Just uh, up to you. Five minutes, three minutes, up to you. Or more. You have to leave, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The, do you have a Do you have a PCB uh, you want to show, or it's too late? Yeah, one or two. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you. No worry, no worry. That's, that's I'm so lucky. I see you. Just before it's too late. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, not too late. Anytime. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. No worries, no worries. Was it a good show for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. There are many customers here. Nice. Let me take this. Yeah, yeah, you can take this right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is our arm. Oh, cool. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Wow, cool stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so you're in the video, huh? You want to take you some speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I okay. have no choice. <laughs> okay, one second. Hi, uh, please introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, uh, I've got to. Today is the last day in uh, MWC Barcelona, and this year we, after the COVID, uh, we uh, bring our most latest main chip is uh, RK thirty five HA. This yeah. one has been a huge success for many years now. Exactly, it's a very exactly. great platform. Exactly, and this is a successor. Exactly, and then this the latest one uh, is uh, using the uh, quad core A thirty six from Ampace and with the uh, ARM GPU. Uh, we use these uh, chips uh, for the application like a uh, notebook. So yeah. it's actually inside here? Yeah, exactly. So uh, this is a, uh, what is the software? Uh, software is, uh, um, I think is uh, for the Android. Linux? Li and Android. Android and Linux, yeah. You can run Ubuntu? Yeah, Chromebook, yeah. Okay. Chrome, Chrome OS? Yes, Chrome okay. OS also, yeah. Windows? Uh, no Windows no, no, yet. No. Okay, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Mac, MacBook. Uh, no, not yet. yet. <laughs> okay. And then this one for our AR VR. Uh, we the we are targets uh, in the future utilize the uh, um, AK resolutions. Yeah. 
it's a weep. So this is gonna be the the RK three five eight eight. Exactly. Exactly. Where uh, is the CPU? There or there? Uh, the yes, CPU yeah. right now is uh, external box, but in the future we're planning to build yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. So you have the the RK three five eight eight yeah. inside this. Uh, yeah, at the moment, uh, it, uh, the chipset is wired by the external box, but in the future, we're planning to embed it in the whole set inside. Because when you go from yeah. A72 to A78, it's more performance, but it's also lower power at the same time? Exactly, because this one we are using the, um, um, the embedded with the uh, 8 nanometers. Yeah. 8 nanometers? Yeah. Before it was... Before... So I think this one is the 14. 28? 22. 22. 22, 22. 22, 22, 22, 22, 22 nanometer? 28, yeah. 28. 28. 28. 28. And yeah. 8. 28 and 28 and yeah. Yeah, 8. Yeah, yeah. Eight. Eight. Steps no. are a big benchmark for us. It's yeah. a big jump. Yeah, very big jump. And, and when you work on a new platform like this, uh, you like to bring uh, for many years support? Yes. Uh, I think uh, at least uh, this advantage of uh, 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 technology may be more than five years. Yeah. Five so. years support. Yeah, exactly. So at least five years. When at, least. at least five years. So when people work on this stuff, they can be confident. They can sell this product for many years. Exactly. Yeah. We, we do this one with some like Samsung yeah, and Asus, yeah, Asus customers. Yeah. And uh, these guys want to have product that will have software updates for many years. Exactly. Uh, you want to have uh, upstream exactly. of all the patches, exactly. full Linux support. Exactly, because uh, we have all very good uh, relations with Google also. Yeah. That's awesome. So this is actually real. If I click here for a little bit, something will happen? Exactly. It will come into Android. Uh, if this you, is kernel. Yeah, if we want to use Android, yeah, you have to pay the uh, license that we can use the Android. How about, uh, yeah. If people do some Linux, if what they want to play with Ubuntu, oh, there, for example. Yeah, Linux. Have a Debian yeah this, this is one. a Linux one, yeah. And do they have full GPU acceleration? Is it full speed performance yes, for sure. everything you want? Yes, exactly. So you have a good access to, is it um, using, what is your GPU? Mali? Yeah, there's a GPU Mali 610. All right. Yeah, beautiful GPU. Yeah, that uh, one change. This one is. It looks so cool. Can I buy it? Who can buy it? Where is it available? How soon is for sale? I think uh, the sales are in this year. So we're going to mass production. Yeah. This year. Yeah. But few months later. Yes, in the market. Few I months. Mean, yeah, maybe in soon. The Amazon. Yeah, in some shops online. And when people have this, they want to have a lot of RAM. Can you support 32, 64, whatever yes. RAM? Yes, you are very good. Uh, Everything is possible. Yeah, LPDD or LPDD3, something like that. DDR3, yeah. yeah. DDD4, and here it says yeah. uh, uh, you have all these RAM supports. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, fast yeah. fast memory. Yeah, a lot. No of the interface uh, I.O. available. Yeah. And how is it optimal to use for this market? Uh, what is special about this for for the RK three five eight eight? This one for the AR VR. Yeah, you you can use for the light view or powerful using, GPU. Yeah, powerful, powerful GPU. Augmented yeah, reality. Yeah, two cameras. Yeah, for the AR functions. Yeah. Nice. And then you have something in front of you. Exactly. And you're working on this. Yeah, and then this one, if you are for some uh, people you want to use for educations. Yeah, for the lavications, yeah, for some like, uh, night view, yeah. Nice. Yeah. What is this? This one, for, no, right now is for the four, 4G, yeah, 4G uh, LTE. Is uh, it baseband? Uh, yeah, baseband and uh, um, computing. Uh, com a high, oh, high speed, high speed computing with 4G. With the antennas? Yeah, 5G's, uh, Wi Fi, a lot a lot of the interfaces and then uh, GBIO yeah and then and then supporting the carpus what is the CPU C three five five eight exactly the same thing so. three five eight yeah, yeah and then you have a like a low version the yeah, we, we got uh, two versions so one is the uh, three five 
AAAS because 35AAS uh, is no input uh, HDMI. Yeah, so this one will be cheaper, but a lot of the functions are available for many different kind of applications. So if you want a laptop without HDMI capture, it's cheaper. Cheaper, yeah. Without HDMI input. No, no, yeah. But it's quite cool to have HDMI input. But when you have HDMI input, you you are not allowed to record the HDMI, right? Or yes. But HDMI input and everything? something like if you want to using for some special cameras, you want to encoding video from other cameras. Yeah. But can you encode AK? No. Uncut okay. Maybe. To check later. Okay. H two six four, H two six five. AK thirty FPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. it, it, it depends yeah. on the firm, firm race. Uh, what is the firm race that you want? Uh, because uh, the, if uh, uncoding uh, uh, for the thirty five AA AK, maybe the firm race like sixteen yeah. pages or thirty two. Uh, and how about uh, the 8K here? Can you play back 8K 120? No. What's the limit for play? Decode. Uh, no. Uh, decode uh, 8K uh, uh, 60 uh, FPS. P. Yeah. Decode. 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 That's good. 8K uh, 30 uh, FPS. Encode. Yeah. Uh, so, so maybe you can also decode two or three 4K at the same time. Yes. Or yes. four or yeah. something, maybe. Yeah. We, we we can support uh, like like at least four to six at this place in the same time. And so maybe a yeah. device like this, yeah, potentially, could have HDMI input yeah. output, yeah, or Type C, yeah, to one or two display, maybe. Exactly. You can collecting like for this one, you're collecting like four yeah. displays. Four display. Yeah, at least. Uh, it can support yeah. seven display. Seven, 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 two yeah. K display, yeah, or least, or, yeah. or three, four K display, and the one two K display. You know, yeah. that's yeah. a that's a real ARM CPU exactly. where you have so much performance. You need seven display so you can use your chip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so, is this mass production? Yeah, of course. I'm the deliverer, really. Yeah. And already products. Yeah, already one. What is the products on the market so far? Um, so many are uh, like. For example, uh, yeah, this kind of product, uh, IoE yeah. computing. It's on yeah, the market. IOE, it's not only IoE yeah. and uh, 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 laptop. Uh, not yet. A few uh, months later. Uh, some some kind of uh, similar tablet. like uh, tablet. tablet. Yeah. High end tablet. Yeah, tablet. High end tablets. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and not only in China. Not only in China. All the world. Uh, not globally. Only in China. Globally. Yeah. yeah. But. Uh, and when is this going to sell more than this? I I think uh, we're going to developing something latest, but uh, still under development. So that and if uh, some customer are ask, asking us for some customing and some special technical technology and technical support, uh, we still are available. Yeah. And uh, the Quad A55 is very good for low low power consumption. Exactly. Yeah. And. Uh, on this wall, you're talking about mesh and vision, so the same chip for that. Yeah. Industrial. Yeah. All kind of auto. Uh, yeah. Any applications. Yeah. If you think. Do you already have some cars with a rock chip? Yeah. For just already. Uh, we're talking about that uh, for inside the cabin, the cockpit, you can collect four cameras or four displays. Yeah. You some yeah headset in behind the seat, so you can watch different movies. Your your for example, you have two children left side seat, you can watch. Uh, uh, Spider-Man. The other side, you can watch Marvel, like Superman, different movies. Nice. Yeah. Maybe uh, the children in the back, they can play video games together. Yeah, exactly. And together with the passenger, and the, yeah. but not the driver. It's something yeah. different. Yeah. Navigation and all in one chip. They uncoating from the outside, like I aiders. Yeah. But you don't Remember. do self-driving. Uh, I think not on your chip. Yet, lock, the lock That's yet, a different yeah. chip, right? Yeah, different one. Yeah. In the future, right. you will know that. Yeah. Cool. All right, so looking forward to uh, some amazing Linux, yeah. Chrome OS, yeah. and more. Yeah. And working with Debian, Ubuntu, everybody. Yeah. Yes, yes, we got it. Right. And open team. source. Yeah, um, at the moment, I think it's not yet open source, but we're going to. You're planning to? Yeah, we are going to. Yeah. All right, yeah. to have more support. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. See you in Ambedes. Um, Thank you. I want to see you in uh, Fuzhou. Oh uh, yeah, please come. Are you yeah, live there? Welcome, yeah. Where do you base? Where's your home? Yeah, uh, the Fuzhou, right? You You're Fuzhou? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you? Yeah. I am basically in London. Ah, London. London yeah. Okay. I want to film. Um, I you know three years. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, 2020. You were there. You were in CES 2020, 2019, 2020. I see you three years ago. Yeah. 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 You know, like uh, last three years was very boring for me. I just watched Netflix because because there was no traveling. I could not go to China. You know, I I want to go to Shenzhen, but now maybe I will go because. You know, they open, they let yeah. me go now, I hope. Yeah. Before it was like, I don't know what happened. Yeah. What happened for three years? <laughs> it's a, the world was crazy. Did you come Did you come only for Mobile World Congress? It's my first time, second time. Second time? It's my second time. But you only come for Barcelona? And then you fly back? No, or you stay uh, in Europe? To, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we will fly back to China. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah. Morning, six, 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 six o'clock. Six yeah. o'clock? Yeah. Change yeah, your ticket, five. stay one, two weeks longer. Oh. My it's okay. It's okay. You can work on the you can work on the computer, no? <laughs> Just uh, travel around the Europe, no? Yeah. Did I you want, see? I want, you want? I really want. Send me an email and we do it later. <laughs> yeah. You welcome to I uh, I'm in Switzerland. Oh, really? So welcome to visit. Okay. I, Bring me one this and uh, you can come as long as you want. To all the time. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. But uh, did you travel last 3 years or you stay in China all the time? The last three years, you know? Did you travel? Only China? Only Fuzhou? Shenzhen? Was it crazy or was it... It was crazy? A bit stressed, yeah. A bit stress, huh? Like, like wearing the mask all the time. It's so nice to not have a mask. I can breathe. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I c I'm not allowed to go to USA, you know? They don't let me Why? go. Because I don't take a... a oh, I see. Don't, oh, don't have. Oh, no, 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 don't have. Uh, but uh, maybe I don't have Chinese, I don't have American. Yeah. I have no... I don't like uh, Japs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I ho <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you, thank thank you, you for much. showing this. It's so cool. Yeah. I want million yeah, people watching. We, we can have a good uh, preparing for can you. Can I have your, your contact? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can you write my your email here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me just uh, oh, no. save here. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, WeChat. I'm Charvax on WeChat. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Add me to WeChat. Can you send me a WeChat message? Okay. This is this is my WeChat, Charvax. Okay, okay. This this name. This is WeChat. Okay, WeChat. WeChat name. Yeah. You contact me. Send me a little message so I can ask you some questions later. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Where will see the video in the B? Yeah. Actually, you know, it was live. Live. It's live. Live stream. Look. Look. It's a live stream. This is a live comments. Oh, Yeah. But I publish in 4K later. Yeah. On my YouTube. Oh, yeah, YouTube yeah. Oh, okay, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. it's only only 4G. This one. Okay. It's, a, it's a Shenzhen company, oh, Yolo Box. Which company? Yolo Box. But it's using Yolo Box Pro. Qualcomm with the modem. Next version maybe will be 5G. I have 5G in my in my bag, but it's not connected so good. Yeah, Yolo Box. Yolo Box. Look! Look how many HDMI input. One, two, three. Oh, very good. Four inputs. Uh, you know? mm. Four inputs. And I can switch different camera. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, what is uh, yeah. on your on your badge? It says. Uh, oh, I, I, what is LBE? LBE is a uh, subscriber of blockchain in, in Europe. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. So please uh, stay in contact and yeah, we, yeah, we sure, chat. Sure, sure, I'll send sure. an email. I, because okay. I saw you every year. Yeah. Yes, yes. When there's a new video I can do about this stuff. Uh, yeah, I bring you the brand new one. Yes, I can I'm come right. directly to London. We do video. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's but I, pre I prefer to go to Fuzhou. I prefer. Yeah. Maybe Rock Chief will invite me, you know? 
Yeah, yeah, sure. I, re I, I want, invite you. I can invite I want, you anytime. I want yeah. to do video with all the guys at the yeah. office. I will let you know. Okay. That's how I'm going to be yeah. uh, in Tucho in Paris. Come, yeah, invite you. Okay. I send you an invite. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Yeah. As long as they give me a travel allow they don't tell stay uh, stay away yeah, no yeah, they will yeah, let me go now i hope yeah okay yeah. thank you yeah thank you bye 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 nice we caught <laughs> where is the canonical all the way in the bottom ah oh, that's so cool they had a debian Rock chip, laptop. Oh my god. Maybe I should have filmed it a little bit more. We're talking about very affordable. Hello from Oxford. Yeah, um, my next step is to go to the Oxford debates. I'm gonna be debating. Uh, what's his name? Squeezy. Um, at the debates. That's not the way. Is it next to me? What is it? Ah, it's inside this thing. Zone A. Is it behind? Look here. Which one are we looking for? Three F ten. Three F ten. This is the way to the secret meetings behind the Mobile World Congress. Shut her down. What? Shut it down. There's a chance that it's not here. Not here. Oh, there. Hey. Hey. You guys all packed up? Yeah. Is there any chance somebody wants to talk about the ThinkPad with the running Ubuntu? on three minutes in the video. Maybe you have it, the, the arm powered, the arm powered one. Yeah. Hey. yeah. You know one of the, the arm, the Qualcomm powered ThinkPad. I heard that you had it somewhere at the show. No, no, we have. I just, I don't have a ThinkPad. I don't know. Do you want to talk about Ubuntu running on? Any, anyone who likes to talk about it, if you have it. Just uh, three, four minutes. It's cool if you want. Because then I caught, I caught the coolest video at the Mobile World Congress. Do you have one? He's just saying, do you want to talk a little bit about Ubuntu on the ThinkPad? I, the devices team would love it. Would you like to do it? To do what? Do yeah, you can do it. about <laughs> Lenovo ThinkPad running Ubuntu? The, you know the, the ARM part ThinkPad? The X13S. Do you have it here, somebody? We don't have it with us. Ah, no, you don't have it? Oh. I'm happy to do it, but I will need one minute. Yeah. I will need to to, you to you, you close the door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you stay here. You okay. Stay right here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I caught you just just before it was too late. Yeah. Cool. Do you do you want to say something in video? No. No. I don't have do anything want? smart to say. So. Do you want to say talk on video? Not really. Anything. What happened at the show? Yeah, just for a second, this because it's live stream, so it's cool to have content. Hey. So, uh, it was a busy show? It was Mobile a busy Congress. show. Yeah. Wait, we're recording right now? It's just uh, streaming. Um, yeah. It was a busy show. Um, I definitely saw a lot of different exhibits, met a lot of people that are, um, you know, have, have great intelligence on a lot of different new solutions that are coming out. Um, I think a lot of people are putting things together, and... Um, I don't know. I'm surrounded by a lot of people that are very smart and and um, I think making big changes. So 
it's exciting. And uh, of course, I like putting Canonical um, at the forefront of open source. I think we're one of the best, if not the best. And uh, I'm, be I'm basically surrounded by uh, Ready. a really Ooh. good team. Hey. Hi. Hey. Wow, you uh, please introduce yourself. Uh, Hi, my name is. Uh, oh, one second, sorry. Okay. Let me just click here. Look into the camera or look at you? Yeah. Both. Is okay. Well, you decide. We'll okay. move the name. Uh, this is a good. Yeah, down, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Oh, let me start. Again. Let me start again. So, yeah. We're gonna go in there. Yeah. We will walk in. Yeah. Hi. Hi there. Uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Adrian. I am a sales development representative here at Ubuntu, and welcome to our room. Um, we are so incredibly excited to be partnering up with Lenovo and to be represented on this new ThinkPad. Our communities coming together means so much to us because Lenovo has been a trusted partner for so long, so exploring how this partnership will grow into synergies for the desktop community is something we're very excited about. So all we have to say for the new and incoming users of Lenovo, welcome to the most popular Linux distribution in the world. Because uh, there have been so many comments on my video. I've been doing videos about ARM laptops for right. a decade, and there were some versions of Ubuntu even 12, 13 years ago running on ARM CPUs, Freescale and all that stuff. Right. But when you get the cutting edge, the fastest ARM, and you get to run Linux, Ubuntu, it's going to get some people very, very excited. Well, here's hoping. You know, excitement is really good. But when you get speed times speed, you know, it's, 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 all the, it's all the evolution of the world that stands at your feet. So what we're looking forward to is not necessarily just the communities coming together, but also what will come out of it and what they will create. I think that's something very exciting. And the entire Ubuntu community is, is, is super, super looking forward to that and keeping a close eye on it. So if you do develop things on it and if you do bring value to it, do let us know. Put it out there. Make it visible. We love to see it. Nice. And here at the show, there's been lots of conversations here in your meeting room, but the, the whole industry is powered by Linux, right? right? And you're like the best at it, or is that how you would say? Uh, like, like when you talk about the mobile world, there's all the infrastructure, there's devices, there's there a whole bunch a saying, of stuff. There is a saying within Canonical that you don't say, you show. And so I'm not going to say we're the best at it. I'm just going to ask people to look a little bit around. And if you don't know what infrastructure your provider is working on, take a look at it. It's not Ubuntu. Consider changing. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It was live, but it's also going to go here as a separate 4K video. And uh, in the future, uh, are you all based in London? No, huh? All over. I'm in Switzerland, but if there is um, uh, like cool projects and stuff, I can do more videos. I've already did a bunch of videos. If you search, there's a whole category about Ubuntu on my website. Yeah. yeah. Can I have your, yeah? I want to see that. Yeah. I yeah. Can you write your email? Cool. You can actually watch it now. It's live. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's very cool. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Thank nice you very much. You. I hope that was Thanks all right. Cool. Are you getting the video of that? But I, I heard that the, the laptop was actually at the show. I've never I seen mean, maybe it was there. So yeah, like, we didn't bring... Because uh, I saw the, the laptop at the arm boost, but it was running another OS with a... Um, What's it called? What do you call it? The the micro something soft? Yeah, I'm I mean, in, yeah, in general, like yeah. so we certify, we certify, okay. yeah, like we, we work with Lenovo and LNAC, we certify all hardware, both on the desktop side and the server yeah. side. So, I mean, you can always run the latest and greatest. Because I heard it was kind of special because all the other Windows and ARM laptops, they don't have the unlock bootloader or something. And this is special yeah. that suddenly there was yeah. Linux. The desktop community is growing all the time, and uh, for us to be effective there, we need to work with the hardware partners during that development yeah. phase, which means that we get to get all of the, the types of drivers you need, all things like fingerprint readers and the resolutions into the desktop uh, image by having it in the kernel. And that's really where we focus on. Oh, okay. cool. Right. Awesome. Thank you, you very much. Yeah. You should join ah, so you have the, access um, to it. Yeah. yeah, you should join us at the Windows Center this year. Is anything when is it? I will let you know. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, we're ready. We go? Yes, yeah. nice. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks, Thanks Thank for you. letting me capture this. Okay, okay. Thank, you. Bye -bye. See you. Thank, Thank you. See you. Thank you a lot. Have a good Thank one. Thank you. All right. Coffee. Uh, maybe, yeah, a water would be nice. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'll, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. So, last minute, what was the other um, in hall three was. Uh, Thanks for watching the live show on your P50. Yeah, I should have put that during the show. Cool. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let's just walk this way. Wait. Let's go like this. Nice meeting room area. I could have just hang, hung, hung around these halls. Do a bunch of videos. We're in the back of the Nokia booth. So, what's the chance now that Which I don't know if it's possible. Is it possible to walk through as media? No? Okay. Cool. So we walk around. Number of the which one is it? Yeah, maybe let's see. There was a comment about getting the Poco. So maybe I can film the Poco at the Xia Xiaomi booth. Have a look inside here. Okay. Nice segue. The Mobile World Congress never di disappoints. It's always spectacular. It's always interesting. It's always big. Lots of phones. Lots of laptops. Lots of ARM processors. That rock chip video was awesome. Just awesome ZTE ZTE video, also awesome. Oops, where is that stuff? If I don't find Xiaomi quickly, 
and just go to Huawei, which is probably mostly going to be infrastructure, or the whole one. Video. Samsung. Usually it's hard, if not impossible, to find a, somebody who's a spokesperson. So this is a. Uh, oh, this is arm powered. Okay. Somehow it shares. Over. Tesla announcement yesterday. I couldn't watch the whole thing. They didn't show the new Tesla, right? So we have a choice between Oppo and Xiaomi. Because of the like a partnership, I'd like to try to film with Xiaomi if it's not too late. Hi. Do you know if I can do video with somebody at the booth? But now it's too, not too late. Yeah, now. Uh, do you know if I can interview somebody about at but the booth? Here or uh, about the product. Because I need to stay here. Yes. Yeah. With no. Test, yes. No. No. I mean, uh, do you know if there's an expert who can talk ah, about the product? Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, with. With. Okay. Uh, yeah. But which product? Uh, the new uh, 13. Uh, maybe I'll try to go and ask them over there. Yes, yeah, or, yeah. Do you know if I can interview somebody about this? Do yeah. yeah. you know if I can find somebody here at the booth who can speak? Ah, uh, down there behind you. Yeah. Okay. Nobody there? Yeah. Uh, nobody left? You can record, but interview I Maybe this guy who's speaking, is that, uh, is he with Xiaomi, this guy behind? Yeah, but I think no one is allowed. Ah. There's nobody left from Xiaomi here? You can ask him. You, have to ask him. you can go back to our office to ask. I'll try. I'll try. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Is there a back office? Let's try here.
Okay. I don't know who to ask. Mm, let's try again. It's like a. Looks like it's finished. Where is this guy filming? Yeah, he's busy. Okay. Hey, excuse me. Do you know if there's somebody I can interview about the 13 still here? From Shelby? Yeah, somebody who can speak about it. The guy on the camera there? What do you say? Yeah? To her? Yeah. Thank you. It's cute. It's pretty much fun. I was there. Do you know if there's any chance I could do an interview uh, about the 13? Somebody can speak about it. Spokesperson. So uh, let me give you my card. Yeah. This is my YouTube. Uh, yeah. I'm like uh, doing everything in English, so it's for a world. Uh, yeah. See at the galaxy stand. It's right over there. Galaxy down there. RK3588. Sounds awesome. And I, I haven't been able to catch up with the latest on that uh, because of uh, the travel stuff. Last three years, so I think she left to look for. Okay. Hi, you okay to be on video? Um, I'm sorry. What? Do you want to talk about thirteen on video? Oh, um, no. I no? like, sir. I'm. I, you are. You just gave me the yeah. name card, right? Like, yeah. I'm actually. I, my name is Denise. I'm oh, yeah. representing the VR team. Uh, nice. Yeah, film, uh, somebody can show the 13 on video. Maybe um, sp somebody who's allowed to speak and who's really good who can speak, explain everything. Okay. And I do the video. But it's too late? But yeah, it's too ah. late. It's like, yeah. she's not available. Well, yeah. She and him, they're not available. Is right there any now. chance I can have your contact? Your email? Um, I can't give you my name. Yeah. Well, you can write your email if you oh, want. Yeah. yeah? Thank you. Yeah, sorry, I was trying before, but it was so busy and I came back three times at the booth, but yeah, I had to film a lot of stuff at the show. 
And I see the advertising is all over Barcelona. Oh yeah, it is. It's a good ca camera. Maybe I can throw this out and film everything on the new Leica camera. And you show me. No, I mean like uh, instead of using these big cameras, you know. Oh, you mean? I also have Leica here, the lens. Ah, 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 ah. But it's bigger. Yeah, you can you can definitely just yeah. send me an email and I'll put you on the list if yeah. we, like next next time we'll have like yeah. this kind of launch. And uh, do you do um, stuff? Are you in Shenzhen? Oh uh, no, we're actually based in Beijing. Beijing. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. Mm, you don't have some big office in Shenzhen? Oh uh, no, we no? are based in Beijing. Beijing like, only. Like, okay. The whole like the uh, the factory is in Beijing. Mm. The factory we do, maybe it could be we, in Shenzhen. We may have some warehouses or like supply chains, like yeah. factories in Shenzhen, but not yeah. so sure about that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for your yeah. Contact. You can you can always just yeah. send me a message. So so. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Have a good Thank day. You. Okay. Thank you. Xiaomi is too late. Switch battery.
那就把这个拔下来吧。这个还穿着吧。福利穿过。哦，那福利穿。But no, not sound, if possible. Sorry? Uh, not with the music on the background. No, no, just no, only no. video. Just only yeah, video, yeah. but only small yeah. music. Ah, cool. Mm -hmm. But if possible, yeah. Maybe you can turn off the music. Maybe. Oh, the music. Uh, but you have problem. Hello. Okay. Is it Luke? Yeah. Or, yeah. Is there a big, big, long video? A big, long video, please. Okay. It's a video about our company and our office. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's do. Right. Okay. Hi. So. Oh. oh, there it's good. Perfect. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. So we're here at the Mobile World Congress. Yeah. Who are you? Uh, this is Adam Ma. I'm in charge of the marketing and sales in European market. And uh, this time, this time I come here to looking for more partner and distributor in European uh, countries. Vigor has become very famous. Yeah, mm -hmm. already we already make Vigor be famous in some other uh, search channel like uh, Amazon, and also the Greece country, the countries like Greece, Romania, and also Poland. We are we are building our brand reputation. Through different different ways. How many power banks you sell? Fifty million? Uh, I'm not 20 sure. million? It's hard to say. Maybe some big time. Just, uh, just for example, in last Friday, last uh, last Black Friday, one day we sold around fifty thousand pieces. One day. In one day. Yeah, fifty thousand wow. pieces. Yeah. And these are some of the latest power banks. Sorry? Which one is the newest one? The coolest one? Well, this, one this one is my favorite one. This is thirty thousand. Oh no, one thirty watt. 130 watts. Wow. Maximum output. High power. Yeah, it is a uh, 25,000 mAh. Oh. And uh, big, the reason why I like it uh, because it has two cable built in. Lightning cable to charge my phones. This cable is has a uh, 30 watt output. It can charge the uh, iPhone and laptop. Is possible to change this tip or is only iPhone? Uh, no, no, no. Well, uh, this is iPhone. This is a uh, Type C. Type C and iPhone built in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Type C Pro it has 100 watt output, and at the, at the same time it also have the 60 uh, watt input. So for the businessman like me, it can ch uh, ch charge my laptops, smartphones at the same time, and uh, with uh, 25,000 mAh. And so there's 100, and uh, if you want, you can also do 30 over here. You can, can I do 100 with Type C? Yeah. And then the last 30 with this USB. Okay. Not with the iPhone. Okay, for the USB A port, it supports the 18 watt Qualcomm fast charging. For the Type C port, it also has the 100 watt output. Also 100. 100 so output and a 65 uh, 60 watt input. So it's possible to do uh, 50, uh, 80, or to do 130. It's possible. Uh, no, it's, no, it's not impossible. It's, it is impossible. How to do 130 at the same time? Okay. For example, this adapter to charge the iPad, the big iPad. It iPad is Type C, no? But for old iPad, old, old iPad, old iPad, old iPad. It will, it will have the, the 30 watt. But the reason why we put the 30 watt because, you know, uh, iPhone 30, iPhone 40 already uh, you require maybe 20, uh, 27 watt maximum, and then maybe in next year or after one or two year, the iPhone 14, iPhone 16 will require the 30 watt. So we designed this product for the near future. So maybe it will be happen. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so that's cool. How much is the price for this power bank? You mean the retail price, right? Maybe. Retail price in European Union is around 100 euro. 
100 euro. Yeah. And you have a button here yeah. to show how many percent is left. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, if people want to order this distributor, yeah. what is the MOQ? Uh, for Minimum our, order. For our distributors, and our, our MOQ is 100 piece. Because, because this is an expensive model. And then they, they can get the logo on it? No. No. Bigger? No. Only bigger. But if only they want this model with their logo, then my MOQ is 1,000 piece. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What else are you showing here? What is this? Okay, this is also my favorite program. Because it is a program with Apple Watch charging panel. Look. Oh, cool. Wireless. Yeah. Is it for any any wireless device, no. also phone? Only for I, I, Apple Watch. And at the same time, it has a built-in cable. Built-in cable, it can charge my, my phone and my Apple Watch at the same time. Cool. Yeah. All right. Which other one you want to show here? What is this? This is a small uh, wireless charger. Oh no, small uh, power bank. Small power banks. It, it's a Type C version, but our Lightning version is run out. All right. it, you can see the you can check the button. Turn the button to see the battery inside. Sixty-six uh, percent remain. Nice. And it, it has. And you have a nice design around it. It looks like space. Yes. The star is in space. space. You're charging. Yeah. Before you go to the. On the starship, yeah. And here is some. What is happening here? Uh, press button. the button, and you will see the battery inside. All right. Yeah. So the same port for. Oh, you can charge on this side. Yes. 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 Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Then and this power bank also can be recharged through this this, this mirrors. When we insert, the power bank is it is recharged. So it means if you put the power bank into the wall adapter, they can be recharged. Recharged. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you're getting a few words via lip reading. Lip reading. Uh, they're going to do V-lock adapter. Okay. Uh, how about, uh, is that the same? Is it a different one? Uh, they are different one. This is our new design, uh, 30,000 30, mAh power bank. But uh, it is a regular model. Uh, just uh, fast charging and uh, with 30,000 30, uh, mAh. How okay. fast the charge? Uh, 20 watt. By, by the way, we have another uh, model. This one. It is the wall adapters. Is this a power charge? Oh, it's a wall adapter. Oh, it's not a power bank. Yeah, it is a wall adapter. It can charge Apple Watch also. Oh, oh. Yeah. Active. Alright. That's it. Yeah. Nice, this is magnetic. Yeah. Is that a loop? What is this? Ah, this is oh no, this is a. Uh, uh, okay, so, sorry, sorry. This is this is the most innovative power bank in our company. It is designed for the Apple Watch user, because look, it is magnetic power banks. Okay, press the button here. If you are charging my lap, charging my iPhone, and then at the same time we can charge my my Apple Watch. Wow. And also, here you can charge the airport uh, where is today? Here. Yeah. Oh. Apple Watch and the iPhone. Uh, airport and iPhone. This is for the airport. Also massive. Here is the LED indicator to show the charging uh, status. What can be the retail price? This one? I'd rather, I'd rather 90 euro. 90. 90. This one, I have this one. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is yeah. cool. Yeah. You have a built-in adapter. Uh, make it very easy. You just plug it in to charge. And then you have all your ports on the top. It's popular? Yeah. It's very original? Uh, yeah, original. So far, only our company has this design. Oh, so, cool. uh, another thing is, uh, for the wall adapter, we already have the UK plug. UK plug, U plug, of course we have the US plug. What, but what is this adapter? This is with the same. Yeah, with the same. wireless charge. Yeah, where is it powerful? Powerful, yeah. It can charge laptops. It can charge laptops. Thirty, no. not sixty-five. No, no. It has a twenty watt, twenty watt heater. It only can charge laptops for emergency using. For example, when you close the laptops and uh, and the top of the laptops, 
and uh, it can charge your laptops battery inside. Maybe after six hours or five hours, it can charge your laptops before it. Do you do also faster charger? Fast like charger? 65? 65 Five. watt charger? Yeah. For example, this one is 65 charge, right? Uh, yeah, uh, 60. Uh, so which charger you need for this? You need to buy one or you sell one? Um, okay, we, we sell one, we sell one. This is this is uh, the 65 uh, volt watt for the charger. This small? Yeah, very small. All right. So you're using GAN? Uh, no, yeah, GAN. GAN technology. Is there GAN in power banks? Sorry, uh, I'm or not only sure. in chargers. Uh, to be honest, I'm not familiar with uh, the the GAN power banks, but we can make it small. Just for me, I just uh, just. Uh, uh, describe the highlight, describe, describe the, the sales point. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Which yeah. other one you want to talk about? And uh, what yeah. is this one? Also ah, wireless? Yeah, yeah. wireless charger, yeah. It is designed for the uh, mobile gaming users because it has a charging panel here. Look, I can charge my phones. Yeah. Nice. And also, we can we, we can we can play games. Well, we're a starter. We're a starter. Cool. Yeah. It is made by aluminum, so no worry about the temperature. And at the same time, we also can make the problem be a phone stand. Wow. Yeah. That's really special. Yeah, very special. Nobody else do this, no? <laughs> um, Only bigger. I don't know other any others for this, for this model. Cool. Play, play games. Which other product you want to show? Uh, yeah, so far. Mm. This is a, like a, this is all your, uh, yeah, your yeah. catalog right there. Oh, the oh sorry, another product. This one is a power bank for the Oculus, for the Ooh. VR headset, Oculus, also from Vigor. Cool. Yeah. And what do we see here on the wall? Uh, yeah. Do you have a little one that fits behind the phone? Yeah, we have. We have. Here, here, yeah. This, this one is 10,000 MX U power banks. So it's magnetic also? Yes, magnetic. So you put behind your phone? Yeah. Maxim. Well, and it's just adding power to it. Yeah. This is 10,000. And uh, this one is 1,000. What's price? Price, retail price for this one is around 30 euro. Cool. It has a sun here. Good. Fantastic. Yeah. And with this power bank, you double the, the phone, no? Sorry? It's double the power of the phone. Yeah, double the power Something like that. Yeah. 1,000 mAh inside. Oh. Warranty? Yeah. <laughs> Is this part? Okay. Yeah. And here you have those you were showing. This we see. Yeah. And there we see. Is it with a speaker? No. What is uh, that? No, speaker. Here, the biggest the power bank. Okay. No, 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 no. What is this one? So this one is uh, the, uh, the, the biggest the tunnel, tunnel light. Yeah, I think you showed this at IFA. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 100. Yeah. 30. So many different. In one go. With the light also? Yeah, it's also a LED light. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. So, bigger, always ready, and here's your video. Yes, these are our factories. Our little the factories. These are our graphic, uh, graphic design teams. And you can also watch my videos from the last seven, eight years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More to than see the development. Videos. Every year is better, better. Yeah. And over the last three years, many improvements? Many improvements. In the factory? Yeah. Currently, we have our own industry park in Dongguan, in Dongguan City. Our, yeah. Your own? Yeah. Big? Big industry park, with only our company. Many people work there? Uh, around, yeah, many, many. Around 400, I believe. 400. Just uh, the leather factories. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. OK. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Nice to see you. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah.
So my customer here is here, yeah. and uh, if I. Company and the products. Everything, yeah. Yeah. Everything. I just need to make sure you don't have light behind. Maybe stand here. Yeah. Okay. Like this. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Oh, maybe over there. Oh, yeah. You can stand behind. You can be behind him. Yeah. No problem. Hello. So please introduce yourself. Yeah. Hello. This is Jeff. I'm from uh, Microair. Uh, we are a smartwatch manufacturer based in Shenzhen and we had uh, in this uh, industry for more than eight years we develop our own devices and we sell to all over the world like uh, more than uh, 50 countries Brazil, uh, Middle East, Indian, Russia, all of them, the uh, US uh, we shipped uh, like uh, one million pieces uh, monthly. It's one really million pieces. Cool. Which one is the most popular? Uh, right now, this is the most popular design, and uh, this one, this two model, we just launched uh, in this MWC uh, exhibition, and uh, we had uh, uh, receiving a lot of orders uh, recent days. It's a really amazing product. Our it's an OLED display and a very long battery life. Yeah, it's like seven days battery life and it supports all the new features that we develop by our own, such as our video watch faces and album watch faces and it supports the motion games. You can wear the watch and play the motion games like uh, pull uh, basketball in the phone. Uh, control. Is it game on the watch? Yeah, it's game in the phone. Did in you show? in ah, our in, the phone. in our app. Uh, but ah, you, you have can, the app. Yeah, but uh, you can wear the watch to sense the the game. Like uh, you jump, uh, you uh, pull a basketball in the basket. Cool. It's, it's, it's very innovation uh, features that we develop yeah. by our own. All these functions are the same on all these watch or different functions? A, a similar function, just a different design. We develop uh, by the, the firmware by our own, so uh, we integrate all the models and uh, we uh, make different designs for different customers' types. Do you do uh, Android Wear? No. Or only, uh, what is uh, the OS? What it's is the our, software? It's our own OS. We develop it by our own. It's uh, based on uh, our old, uh, RTOS. Based on RTOS. Uh, it's not Android. But it's uh, comp uh, compatible with uh, iOS and Android. Both phones can work with our is devices. Is it Realtek? Or which CPU you using? Yeah, it's a real tech. Real, real tech. tech. Yeah. ARM CPU. Uh, it's a low power 
long battery life. Yes, CPU, yes, 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 yes. With all, good functionality. Yes, correct. And all these have heart rate. Yeah, heart rate is very basic function. Now it's ninety nine percent accurate of the data uh, measurement. Do you have um, uh, humidity, ECG? What do you have? Temperature, other things, or only heart rate? Uh, heart rate, uh, blood pressure, blood oxygen, temperature, all included. The health data, health management. How do you do blood pressure? Blood pressure. Need to touch, or just directly? Just directly by the sensor. To it's like uh, one minute measurement. And there you have uh, the heart rate showing off. And uh, you do hot, uh, uh, blood pressure, ECG. You have that. Yes, yes, yes. How do you connect with the ECG? You need to touch on the side with the other hand, or no? It's just a direct. Just one. Just one, one thing go. I can show you here. ECG. This one. This would uh, sneak to the app. The app will generate a curve of the report for the ECG. It needs a little time to take the measurement? It's take uh, one minute around. All right. And then it's very accurate? Yeah, it's very well accurate. All right. We'll see if it shows up after one minute. OK. Oh, maybe it needs to uh, be very tight to the hand? Yes, or yes. You correct. don't need to touch this part with the other hand? No, no, no. need, no need. Or touch the top of it? No? No, 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 no. Okay. All right. And how many years your company has been making smartwatches? For eight years. We start from 2015. All right. Cool. All in Shenzhen? Yeah, all in Shenzhen. How big is your factory? We have four factories. Uh, each factory has uh, 200 employees around. Uh, we have uh, two factories in Shenzhen, one in Jiangsu and another one in Anhui. Uh, so what does it show here? It shows, it, this will generate to the app. To the app, yeah? Yeah. The app will show the whole report. And you have the microware app, or you can also work with customers who want different brands? And Yeah, we do OEM for different customers. If they want their own app, we can uh, develop by, uh, for them. Uh, our own app is uh, MacTube Pro. That uh, logo, MacTube Pro, is our own app. It uh, has uh, downloaded more than uh, two million the whole world times, oh. and uh, it's rated quite okay. What's the price? How much I can buy this watch? How much I need to pay? Retail? Retail is around um, forty dollars, forty to fifty dollars, uh, by our distributor sell online or local shops. That's very very good price. Yeah, thirty Affordable. to forty. 30 to 40 dollars is um, a seven day battery if you don't use it very often no uh often I mean daily screen, daily daily using is fine for so, five to seven days if uh, uh standby only it can last 15 to 20 days does it do sleep tracking yeah of course it's very basic uh, house function nice so you just wear it all night, and in the morning you can see on your app yeah. how many times you wake up yes, and all yes. this. Exactly. Uh, the how is the deeply uh, sleep and light sleep? It uh, analyzes, give a report in the app to learn your health and sleep status. How many customers do you have? I mean, which country has the most customers? Where do you sell more? We sell to uh, Latin America more, like Brazil, like uh, Argentina, like uh, uh, Paraguay, uh, and the Middle East, uh, in, in uh, UAE, in Saudi, uh, Iran, those countries, and Indian. 
Uh, India is a very big market for us now. In uh, recent years, they grow very good. Do you sell many in China? Yeah, we also sell in China. Uh, we through the TikTok, the Douyin Chinese version TikTok, and the uh, Taobao, the Jingdong, those uh, platform. How about some distributor in Europe, in USA, they can contact you and say, I want to sell more and it's possible? Yeah, sure. In Europe, we have a customer in Spain, in Poland, in Germany, in UK, uh, in Italy. And in US, we have uh, some customer in Miami, uh, mostly in Miami, uh, in New York. Uh, they distribute local uh, to Latin America. And in Europe, they sell whole Europe market. Yeah. Cool. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good job, huh? <laughs> He's good. Being good at it, introduce that. Yeah. Let me give you my card. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Okay, I finished this. Oh, there you have it. So the video is live. It's live. Uh, but but I will uh, now I put people on the break.
Can I go in that media? No, it's, it's private, yes. Are you coming over for the clap? Yeah, it's finished. I finished. Finish. Uh, we can do it again. Too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a moment. Alright, so 
thanks everybody for watching my live video coverage from the Mobile World Congress 2023. It's been fun. It was awesome. It's been busy. And uh, I think the sound disconnected for half an hour or something before. But I got everything recorded in 4K, so it'll be published tonight. Right. Thanks for watching. And see you at the next event.